Hello? Hello? How are you? That's good. That's good, good. I'm good. It's 7.09, you're late. It's 4.09, actually, in my part of the world. Also, I... You guys didn't turn your clocks back? The, the, the second... We have, we have a few daylight savings times. You have to go back... You, you fall back uh, 10 minutes. You guys didn't do that? Don't be... I, you didn't do that? I did it. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's fall back. No, no, sorry. It's it's uh, it's simmer down. Summer, like simmer down, right? By ten minutes. Summer down. Yeah, the summer simmer down. That's not funny. You need to be funny. I got a whole book of jokes, okay? The joke- I have a joke book. No, you're not gonna find every- Alright, you're not gonna find every single thing I say funny. If you did, if you- Okay, if you thought every single thing I said was funny, I would feel like you were just blowing smoke up my ass. You know what I mean? You're not gonna think everything I say is funny, otherwise you'd- I, I, You might just be blowing smoke up my ass. I have to tell you guys something. Um, I had an insane dream. Wild. This this was wild. It was an entire television show. It was a whole movie. It was fucked up. I, I I'll t I'm gonna tell the whole thing. I gotta try to remember it though because the thing about dreams is it I wrote the whole thing down. It's about, I don't know, I said we're like a full page long. And this one, I, you guys are gonna think this one's funny because the, it has a really, it has a really interesting ending. I will be, I'm gonna give you a warning here. It's disgusting. It's gross. It's really gross. But I'm, I'll tell- I, I'm gonna wait till more people- Do I want to wait till more people are here to have so more people hear this? Or do I want less people to hear this? So it doesn't- you know, people don't think I'm weird. You know what I mean? Should I wait for more people or less people? But then there, I feel like... I'll tell it in a second. Let me explain what we're doing. Let me give you the, the, the kind of lowdown of what's going on today. Uh, we're gonna play a game today called Later Alligator. <clears throat> Excuse me, Later Alligator. This is a kind of a puzzle slash point and click adventure game with really cute, interesting characters, I guess. It seems like, I mean, people have been requesting this for a while. It's been requested for like a year. Um, it's supposed to be really fun, just like a chill game. We're gonna play it. If I get kind of over it and I'm done with it, I'm going to play a game called Webbed. We're probably still going to play Webbed. Webbed is apparently really fun. It's time for you to do a lot of voices. I think, isn't the... It seems like it's voice acted. Is the whole game voice acted? I thought so. What is better, alligator or crocodile? It's a different animal. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Oh, my hand. You Look what happened. I just hit my desk card. What the fuck? We're going to have 15 different Bernie Sanders voices today. <laughs> I don't know. Are we? Is somebody going to talk like this? Is there going to be another character that talks like this? Yeah, probably will be a few. <laughs> Do 
You want to barf drink our statue? <laughs> I, I th no, but I mean maybe that sounds like kind of cool. Maybe. Do you want one of those? Do you like axolotls? Yeah, they're really cute. Here, please explain the birds and the bees. I'm really confused by it. Um, they're two animals. One of them's an insect. The other one's a, a bird that flies around. The, the bees are literally gonna. Wait, that's how humanity ends. Okay. The bees. You want to look into the bees? Have we have issues here with the bees? That's how humanity ends. Is your birds and the bees? Once the bees are gone, we're all dead. Don't you get it? When the bees are gone, we are all dead. <laughs> Wise words. Save the bees. What about the mosquitoes? Fuck the mosquitoes. My, my, my insect tier list. Okay, do you guys want to hear some a tidbit of information here? Uh, mosquitoes are all the way below F tier. They're the worst insect. Mosquitoes were part of the reason why I moved to Nevada. I was like, what's a part of the world where I will never see one of those motherfucking mosquitoes ever again? Ever. I don't even. I don't want to see them ever again. Nevada is one of those places where there are just are no mosquitoes. They do not exist. I would rather get stung in the mouth by a scorpion than be outside ever again at like 6.30 p.m. in Massachusetts and look up and see the swarm of these bugs that just want to suck all your blood out. That's kind of extreme. It is. I hate mosquitoes. Having to be out there and to, the, look when, when you look, let me, let me show you. When you are outside, and there's a place where there's a lot of mosquitoes, but a really humid place. Does, does this remind you? Does this? Does it? Are you are you aware of this scenario? Yeah. So how's school? Yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah, I think um, one of the one of the big uh, problems I think with with the school system. You 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 just graduated? Yeah. Yep. I don't like doing that. I don't like fucking doing that. I'm so glad I never have to do that again. And everybody is doing it. Everybody in like the group of people outside are all doing it. It's not abnormal to see somebody just freak out and like reach elastic style around their back and be like, yeah. What time do you guys want to go? I, if we want to get coffee, we probably should go at like six, maybe. Maybe, maybe seven. It's like, this is normal. I don't, I hate it. You're a hater. Yeah. I am a, I'm a mosquito hater. That was based. Thanks. Hey, take a look at this. Ah, uh, this is later alligator. Do I talk about my dream now? Okay, this dream is fucking crazy. All right, let's let, let me start. Hold on. So I had a dream. I would tell you right now, this is disgusting. This is a very gross thing that happened. Your sideburns are uneven. I need a haircut. Sometimes when I shave, I don't. I like. I fuck it up. All right. I, all right. This is actually a lot. That's really bad. Now that I look at it, that's like that's pretty awful. It's like so full. I don't, but listen, listen, I think it's, I think it's because I like went to, my hair has a weird growing pattern. Is it that bad? All right, it's, it is bad. But listen, my hair is a lot thinner here than it, look at how much thicker my hair is here. You see? It's really, I have really thick hair here and really thin hair here. I didn't shave this. Look, see? It's, it's, see how it's better? Now, because like this kind of it thins out. You're reusing the sideburns bit. No, 
I just don't care when I shave. I, when I go and get my hair cut, they get it to where it needs to be. I just don't care. I shave my face and I go, whatever, that's close enough. Whatever, that's close enough. I just don't care. I don't care. Like, this is fine, right? When I go get a haircut, they take care of that. I don't care. I do the same thing. I can't be bothered. See? Some, some of you get it. I know you do. <gasps> okay, so listen. It sticks out. It's because I haven't had a haircut. They go... And they get rid of it. <laughs> this is not worst hair! Stop that worst hair! I didn't do anything! What the fuck are you talking about? My hair looks fine! My hair looks like good! Look at this! It's like smooth! It's silky! It's been conditioned! Just because I have sideburn hair does not make it worst hair! I'm not even putting it on a I'm not even making it a category this year. Good luck. It looks greasy? It's- What do you mean greasy? It's- Look at that! Could greasy hair do this? Nope! <laughs> That's not the- how is it worst hair? You guys are fucked. Whatever. So I had this dream. Okay. I had a dream. Or I was... Hold on. So I had this dream. This dream's crazy. I want to... I have to warn everybody here, seriously. I'm going to probably, like... This is going to gross people out. I had this dream. Why is my mic peaking? It's not. Fix your settings! Fix your settings! There's nothing wrong with my mic. Okay. So. There's enough people here. Whatever. Just stalling? This is... What do you mean stalling? Dude, this dude's stun locked. Fine. Okay. So. Here, listen to me. This is really important. I had this dream where me and Holly were on a road trip. This is like two different dreams that were connected for no reason. So me and Holly were on a road trip. We were like driving somewhere. And you know how in, in dreams, how stuff just gets kind of stitched together and you don't really know why. Holly and I Fix your settings! I don't care. So Holly and I, we went on a road trip. And we stopped at, like, a gas station slash, um, a gas station slash, I can hear, she, I can hear her laughing already. I already told her this, by the way. And she was disgusted, by the way. She was like, this is, this story is fucking disgusting. Like, I, I, she, I, she, she's heard the story already. So anyways, uh, we go to a gas station. And we pull in, and it's a car wash slash gas station. Okay, cool. So the idea was, okay, we're gonna get out, and they're gonna, they're gonna wash the car, and whatever. I don't know why we decided to go get a, get a car wash um, in the middle of a road trip to some friend's house or something. So we get out of the car, and it's like, okay, take the car. Sure, whatever. Go ahead. Go for it. Take it and wash it. And one of the workers, this guy had like a clipboard here. And I like went to go do something, and Holly was like in the, uh, kind of in the business or whatever. And this guy, I don't, I, I don't know if he was, like, going to attack Holly. Like, I don't know why the employee was doing this. Like, I come back out. I think I was, like, maybe I, I was outside for some reason. I come back in the establishment, and this guy's, like, going to, like, attack Holly. So, I, 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 like, got in the way, and I, like, fucking pushed the guy. And he pushed me back, and I, like, shoved him with the clipboard, and his clipboard, like, hit him in the face. And I started fighting this fucking guy. I was, like, fucking punching him in the face, and we were fighting. Just fighting each other. And the whole time, we're, this this car is at the car wash, right? So, okay, whatever. <laughs> the car is like at the car wash. Splash! We're gone. We're not in the car wash anymore. We're outside the car wash. I don't know how it's stitched together. And 
we're looking for the car. And the whole time, like, the Holly and I are like, that guy was a, what the fuck was that guy's problem? That guy was a piece of shit. Yeah, I like kicked his ass. Like, wait, I fucking beat him up. Whatever, right? So I, I, I kicked this guy's ass. And we're looking around for the car. We can't find it. We don't know where it is. Um, eventually, we come to the termination after walking around the parking lot four or five different times. The car is gone. The car's gone. Somebody stole the car. Okay? Somebody stole the car. It's just not there anymore. So we had to start walking to my friend's house, whatever it was. So we started walking. Who is Holly? Holly's my girlfriend. So we we had to walk. As we're walking oh, down the sidewalk or whatever, some guy in like a trench coat and these like big like sunglasses. He was wearing these huge sunglasses. Comes up to us. He's like walking kind of next to us. And we're like, the fuck is going on? And this guy walks up to us and he goes, hey, hey, here, here, hey, spray me in the face with this. And he hands Holly this like aerosol can to spray him in the face. So we're just like, I don't, I, oh, I mean, you're going to, you leave us alone? Just leave us alone. So the, the guy, the guy's sitting there just waiting for Holly to spray him in the face. So she holds the nozzle up like this and is like pointing at him and she goes, shh. And sprays herself. It, it was the guy was. It was a prank. The guy turned the nozzle the other way, and she maced herself in the face. And she's like, Shh, uh, uh, and, and I'm like, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck? And the guy starts laughing. So I start fighting the guy. I like start. I'm like fucking. Go I fight this guy. I start punching this guy. I'm fighting this guy. Like I have to fight another person. I'm fighting another guy. She, Holly's over like on the sidewalk with like these like welling up in her eyes. Like I was like pepper. I don't know what the fuck it was. So I'm fighting this guy. And we get to a point where, like, we're wrestling around, like, fighting each other. And we, th there was a side, like, a drop down. We were on, like, a sidewalk. And there was a lip and then another sidewalk. Maybe, like, I don't know, maybe five feet, six feet lower. This guy jumps down to, like, get down to, to the other sidewalk. And I'm looking down at him. He's only, like, remember, he's only, like, five or six feet below me. And I'm like, I'm gonna, oh, fuck this. I know what to do. So I, like, Falling R1 the guy. Like that was gonna work in real life. So I like fall and like punch. And I like punch him in the head. And like I fucking get him. Like I knock this dude out. Two of his friends are like coming over. And I'm like, oh shit, this is bad. This is really bad. And th they're like, oh yeah, fuck him. He's a fucking asshole, man. I'm just like, what? Like, all right. Flash again. This is where it gets weird. This is where it gets really weird. And I'm gonna warn everybody. This is This is where it gets gross. We are at our destination, right? After that happened. We get to the destination. We're at my friend's house. And I really have to go to the bathroom. Like, I, I, I get up and admit, this, remember, this is a gross story. Right, number two. So, the bathroom is like, we're, I remember, like, this is stitched together in such a weird way. I don't know how it's stitched together. So, we're, we, we get there. I go to the, their bathroom. And their bathroom is a bedroom. It's like a bedroom. There's a toilet that's like five feet tall. The bowl is like up here. And it's like a bunch of porcelain going all the way down. Okay? So, all right. It's like, this is weird. Like, this is strong. Why is your bathroom a fucking bedroom? There's like a shelving thing over here. There's like a bed over there too. And it's just like weird. Like, why, do you, why is it like this? So, again, this is gross. So I get like up on this huge like high it's like it was like a gigantic like high chair it was like a big high that's the only way i can describe it it was huge like it was really high off the ground for no reason so i get over there <laughs> dude i i this is gross i take a huge shit right i i, I take a, a massive shit in this toilet and i'm i'm done okay that's it i'm done i got it's time now it is time i told you this is gonna be gross i warned you like five times so like I flush the toilet, whatever, and everything's fine. And I'm like, okay, it's time to, it's time to clean up, right? So I look over at the material that you use to clean up, which is the toilet paper. And there on this roll next to here, it was like right next to the toilet. The toilet paper roll had this stain on it. It was a stain. You know what I mean? And I was just like, I don't, uh, uh, uh I don't think so. So I kind of rolled it a little bit. And the stain 
was there still. A little bit faded. Still there, a little bit faded. Still, I'm like, I don't want to use this. I'm not using this. So, I'm like, what the fuck do I do now? Uh, oh, I know. There, over on the shelf. On the shelf in this bedroom bathroom was like a various sizes and shapes. Different toilet paper rolls. Like, some of them were kind of halfway undone. Some of them were wrapped up in, like, the hotel wrapping. So I'm like, all right. The hotel wrapping over there. I, I, that's, uh, that's the one. It's a fresh one. It's brand new, right? It's wrapped in, like, that, that hotel wrapping. So I go out, I, 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 I start to go up to go to where the toilet paper is. But remember, I don't know why dreams are like this. Don't ask me why. Please don't ask me why. I don't, I can't describe why this happens. I was in the water. Up to here. Like, like a fucking jacuzzi. And I was like, pushing up to get out of like the jacuzzi. And like, get, making it so my elbows were like, on the bowl and like, getting up. Because that's how I had to get out. So I'm, I finally get up, I'm soaking wet. And I'm like, out of the toilet. And I go over to grab this, like, I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do? So I grab this, this wrapped toilet paper, fresh toilet paper roll, okay? I didn't fall in. I was apparently already in it. Dreams don't make any sense. I was apparently already in this toilet. And like up to here. Remember, this thing was like five feet tall. So I I get out. I unwrap the new toilet paper. And there's a fucking huge stain on it. It's a huge stain. Again, I was like, this doesn't make any sense. What the, Something with the manufacturing this shit. What happened? This doesn't make any sense. Why is it like this? I don't get it. What the fuck? So I can't use this roll either. So I put that down. I I go over the again. There are tons of there's like five different rolls on a shelf over here, and I grab one of them. That's like kind of halfway done. But this toilet paper roll was like antique. It was falling apart in my hands. Like I would unroll it and it was like crumbling out. Like 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 as if it was like antique. I was like I can't fucking use this either. What the hell's going on? So, eventually, eventually, I get to a roll that I have in my hand, and I'm like, this looks pretty good. There's nothing on it, there's no stains on it, it's not like weird crumbling in my hands, antique bullshit. I start to like, get it over to where, remember, I had just crawled out of the toilet. I get over to where the toilet is, and like, it, it's kind of like, oddly heavy. So, I, the, the toilet paper roll kind of unrolls a little bit, and then it unravels, and hits the ground, and starts rolling on the ground. And there is rolled up in the toilet paper, like thirty to forty thousand fucking dollars. It was where this person was like hiding money in their house. It was like they were hiding money here, hiding it. I was like, oh my god, no! What the fuck? There was like a hidden money spot in your house. What the fuck? So I try to, and then this is all this money. There was like other like little antique shit in here, right? There was like little antiques in it. They're like little trinkets like wrapped up in the money that was wrapped in the toilet paper. So I start picking up these like this bundle of like just like this rolled up money it was like rolled like this. And I don't know what to do with it because no matter what I did, this was going to I would never make it look the same way, right? Like, holy shit, man, this was wrapped up so perfectly. It's going to be a mess. They're going to know that I did that, right? They're going to know that something happened. So this is one. This dream is your internal struggle with money and greed. Oh, I'm not done. It gets worse. So eventually, like, it, this unwrapped money, I, like, put it back on the shelf. It's all fucking crumpled up and all fucked up looking. So there's no way I did this. No way I didn't touch it, okay? Finally, I get a piece of toilet paper, like, a roll that is fine and it works. I bring it over and I realize that there's a gigantic window. Directly across from the fucking toilet, like a huge bay window, and I was like, "Whoa! What the fuck? Somebody could have seen this. What the? Somebody could have seen me walking around like this? And like, the, who's? Uh, could anybody? Did anybody see? Why would you have a window like this? Why would you have a huge bay window here? What the fuck is wrong with you? What are you? What's fucking wrong with you? So, boom! I wake up. I wake up, and I'm lying in bed, and I open my eyes, and after this insane dream. I thought I shit my pants. I thought there was shit in my, in, in my, like, asshole, in my ass cheeks. So I'm sitting there going, I shit my pants. Like, there's shit in my ass. So, <laughs> and this is in real life. Like, I'm lying there in real life. Going like, yup, uh, yeah, this, I, there's, I shit, I, there's shit here. 
I felt it. I knew it. I was certain about it. So I get out of bed and I like waddle over like slowly. I, this is the slowest I've ever gotten out of bed. And I walk over towards the bathroom and I go and I like go to get the toilet paper. And guess what? There ain't no toilet paper in there. So, so I waddle across the fucking house. Just like, God damn it, no, it can't be real. And I waddle across the fucking house and I get go to where the toilet paper is. And I get into I get into a private place and I like do what I need to do and I wipe my ass and it's clean. There's nothing there. There's absolutely nothing there. It was fucking nothing happened. And this probably I probably I probably like slowly walked around the house like I had shit in my pants. For like probably five minutes. Maybe like two may, you know what? No, that's a lie. Maybe like two or three minutes total. But still, that's like so long. And then I laughed. And I was like, well, that was fucking wild. And I had a wicked bad headache. <laughs> I had a wicked bad headache, and I kinda still do. I don't know, man. Like, I just have these dreams that just become so fucking strange. And that was it. And I was like, oh, that was like ridiculous. And I wrote this all down too. I I I remember. <laughs> Holly was like out here, like out in her, in her office working. And I was just like, it was like wicked early in the morning. Like she was up working. And I was just like, I like walked kind of by her and I was like, hey, hi. Like I, I probably looked like fucked up. <laughs> and she can literally attest to this. Like this, this is real. I was like slowly walking by. Just like, hey, hey, uh, yeah, I'm just like getting up. It was fucking wild, and I, I I had to write this whole thing down. <laughs> I thought I should I thought I shit the bed, because I thought like oh my god okay I gotta be careful because I don't I like in my brain I was going over every single scenario like I hope don't come in don't do not come into the bedroom do not go in the bedroom because like I may have shit the bed like but how do you say that to somebody oh hey um. Hey, uh, I just like woke up and I'm in like kind of a daze, but I may I may have shit the bed. Don't go in there. Somebody said TMI. I told you, I warned you over and over again. This is a gross story. This is not this didn't happen. This is not a real story. Let me be look, that didn't happen. This was in the dream. <laughs> this music. This music should not have been on this whole time. But I don't, okay, I don't know what it is about you, why our brains do this weird shit to us. But when I woke up from that dream, I, the, the, I, I shit my pants. Like, I did. I felt it. You know what I mean? Like, it was like, oh, no, 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 this is bad. This really happened. I really thought it happened. I actually really did. But why? Why does my brain want to do that? Why does my brain feel like... Oh, hey, by the way, I need to tell you something. Like, you really did that. But, like, the first minute that you're up, I'm sitting there, I was lying on my back. I'm lying on my back, just going... Oh, no. Oh, no, this is not good. What do I do about this? What am I supposed to do about this? There was, like, so much internal panic, like, through that entire... Like, I... I don't know, I fought, like, two or three people? I thought I shit my pants? You just stop doing DMT. I don't... I don't do anything. Anyways, we're gonna play later alligator. And the fact that I was in the toilet. Why was I in the, the water? Okay, I know that like the people have like dream journals and people go like, oh, this is why you had that dream. I don't okay, if I told like somebody that was like a dream journal specialist or whatever that dream, I, they probably would be like, you made that up. Like that's that doesn't happen. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. I have no idea what's wrong with you. game is okay here we go release the Armin audition tape the Holly just said I'm not doing that not right now I'll do that before like I retire <laughs> I 
And remember, this is important too. I know that like, sure, me and Holly have a great relationship, right? And like, it's it's very wonderful. I, I, this is a great relationship. It's fantastic. But like, it, I, I, I don't want to, I, I still like, don't want to like fart wicked loud in front of her. So the prospect of, I may have shit the bed, honey. It's like, <laughs> whoa, you went from like, you are farting in front of your girlfriend to you shit the bed. That's too hot. That's way too much. That's too fast. I've got to slow that down, right? You got to slow way that. Slow way down. What's an alligator? It's a dinosaur that made it through the meteor. Okay. Here we go. You guys ready? So this is later alligator. It's a puzzle game, and we're gonna have a great time playing it. You and I. No company, please. Thank you. Okay. Latte machine. Two earbuds? I thought about it. No. Um, no hablo inglés. No hablo español. No hablos at all. Not even one hablo. What's going on here? 48 puzzles! I have a knife? This is no voice acting? I think there is. They said there's a voice volume indicator. Hey, I'm trying to lay low here, so maybe can you move on, please? Okay? Okay? You got me. I'll come clean. Sorry for being so rude before. I'm just a little... Well, I'm turning the cam off for this. I'm just a little on edge. Normally, I wouldn't tell anyone this, but you've got such soulful eyes that I can totally see the eternity of... So I feel safe with you, stranger. You see... Usually I love coming to John Johnny's on my birthday like this. Staying in the hotel, floating in the pool. Eating two bagels at the Continental Breakfast. Eating two soaps in the complimentary bath basket. Ooh. Why did I say ooh? Ugh. I just burped. But this year I've got a problem. A real problem. A real, real big uh, problem. The thing is I'm pretty sure the family is finally trying to rub me out for squealing. I didn't mean to squeal, honest. I just see a pair of earnest eyes and the secrets just start flowing out of my snoot. See? I'm doing it right now! Oh, cheese and crackers! What am I gonna do? I don't want to be rubbed out! Two ton Tona even told me I have to meet him upstairs here at 8 sharp for the event! They think I, I don't know, but I heard him talking to Big Mama on the phone. The whole family's gonna come to really show me how it's done. What am I gonna do? I don't want to sleep with the fishes. I have shellfish allergy, and I have my asthma acts up when I get too waterlogged. Wait a second. You're interested in me, right? You wanted to sit with me for breakfast and everything. Do you think that you could help me? Since we're such great pals, you could go out and talk to my family around Alligator New York City. Find out information about the event and report back to me. Yes, that's a great idea. Together, maybe we can collect enough info to save me. You want to save me, right? Right? Well, great. I'll text you if I need any help. How about you go there and start? Do you have a watch? Oh, you do? Great. I'll text a little before 10 a.m. since it can take 15 minutes or so to get back here on the trolley. Make sure you check your watch a bunch. If you happen to get stuck doing some weird game-like activities while investigating, it could take time. I might don't have because I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have a murder done on me. I'm okay. Think of the beach. Pat, remember what Dr. Doopelsnoot told you. Anyways, thank you for helping me out like an alligator like me. I feel like I'm just, I'm better just looking at your super kind, invisible face. And be careful out there. The last thing we need is two people sleeping with the fishes. We need to find a double bed in this economy. See you later, friend. Stay safe. Oh, cam off. Hello, esteemed guest. If you're looking to leave the restaurant, you'll have to use the exit arrow up in the corner of the screen. We provide all our patrons with an exit arrow and complimentary pillow mints. Feel free to use both outside of our fine establishment to exit and munch as you wish. Just don't mix the two up, since that arrow is vintage. And known to contain harmful materials such as lead paint, asbestos, and a combination of rat poisons and cilantro. Please feel free to visit us again here at John Johnny's and have a Johnny of a day. Stop. Okay. That's, this is cute. 
So this is John Johnny's Cafe. New voice unlocked? Cilantro? Ew, cilantro tastes like soap! Shut up. It is gross, though. I love it. Hey, bub. Got a minute? Or perhaps three minutes? I ain't above asking for five. I saw you walking out of John Johnny's over there, and I says to myself, Mickey, you gotta talk to that mysterious stranger. Vision and pinstripes, see? I ain't trying to fluff you up or another, but you look like an alligator of, of exceptional taste. As well as one who might like to dabble in high-stakes games of chance and intrigue, if you feel me. Oh, don't actually feel me. I got a skin condition. They call me Slick for a reason. According to my doc, it ain't going away unless I start using that topical cream at night. But I gotta listen to some jabroni with a smarty certificate, you know what I'm saying? All my smarts come from the street. Which is also where I got this skin condition. And my impolite lower back tattoo. Boom. Is this, what about the event? Oh, how about the event? Now look, well look here, bub, it's a real secret affair, you dig? Ain't nobody supposed to be going and telling Pat about it. My lips are sealed, just like they seal when I wake up after a night of nose-only breathing. And who's Pat? Are you talking about Pat the Alligator? Yeah, I know that dude pretty well. You see, yeah, he's my second cousin. One time when we was kids, us guys got locked out of CCD after recess and missed juice and cookie time. We only had one granola bar between us and good old Pat gave me the bigger half. I'll always remember that. No, I ain't crying. I just spit in my own eyes as a display of my street toughness. Mm. Name's Mickey, but everyone, you know, calls me the old king of the cops. Well, that one guy did before he yelled at a fence to stop stealing his email password. And his pants fell down. And he fell down. Into an open manhole. But I have it on good authority from the paramedics that he only called three or five other people that, so bada bing. The old card king at your service. Oh! Maybe though, just maybe, if you play a little game with Mickey here, my lips might loosen up a little. You can keep an eye on this flurry of fingies and find a queen. Yeah. Alright, keep an eye. Three card Mickey. Yes, let's do it. Mickey's running a street scam. Keep an eye on the queen and pick the correct card to foil his plans. Alright, keep an eye on the queen. Alright, get your peepers peeled because these hands are about to become a hurricane. I can't voice act on camera. I have to do it behind the scenes. See here? Keep your eyes on the lady. Where is she gonna go? Where is she gonna go? I got it. It was easy. Ah, oh, Butto, don't be feeling too bad. Ain't nobody can... What? Wait, what happened? Did I... Was I not even looking? Ain't nobody can hold a candle to Mickey's slick hands. They'd catch fire from the mystery grease. Maybe I should start using that cream. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> I actually... I actually... Wasn't even looking. I was looking over here at you guys. The chat. I'll give you the win. Mickey ain't made of stone. He's made of a series of tubes filled with a mysterious substance that may or may not be slightly corrosive. What? I won? I did it! Oh, jeez. Anyways, about the event. Well, yeah. Ain't heard it from me. But I hear it's gonna be a real affair to remember. The whole family's been talking about it for months. That's really gonna get his, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, thanks for playing. Let me know if you need any of my city smarts while you're out here, rookie. Try not to lick any trolley handrails if you can help it. Those dermatology copays are a real kick in the alligator pants, you feel me? Oh. That was fun. I did it. Trolley ain't here yet, so why don't you use go check out the arcade? Mickey got banned for his slick fingers gumming up the machines and causing an epidermis epidemic. But that ain't mean. You gotta suffer the same fate. Oh. Say Goku. No. 
That was cute. Okay. Click and drag. Up and down. Oh, alright. Where should I go from here? A arcade? What time is it? It's 8.30. I gotta be... Am I... What, what animal am I? Oh, I'm an alligator. I'm an alligator. Alright, where's the... Uh, where's the, ar there's the arcade? Let's go. <laughs> Who is it? Um, hello? Is this by chance your first time in Alligator, New York City? I mean, in the city city, not uh, Alligator, Long Island or something. Who is, who is this? I thought so. Oh, uh, you don't know me. I'm sorry if that's weird. I just thought if you'd like, I could text you some tips. The city is really big and has a lot of colorful secrets that I wouldn't want you to miss on your first visit. Is it okay if I help you out from time to time? Lose this number. Leave me the fuck alone. Ah, oh, great. I'll be sure to text you again soon. Don't forget to enjoy yourself. Okay. Oh, what's this? Street? Street Kiter 2? Do I have to, have to play these? I just got a puzzle piece. What's that? I got it. Alright, let's go. Sweet Geraldine. Hey up there, long arms. Oh, I'll be back. Hey up there, long arms. You got a sec? Nice suit. What's a fancy reptile like you doing at the back of the arcade? I know what you're after. That's right. I've got you pegged just by looking at you. You want cold, hard, plush. Well, you find the right alligator. And I've got a job that'll pay for both of our retirements and poorly made stuffies. Auto! You might see a humble claw machine, but this is a vault, and we're gonna break in. But we can't just walk in. No, there's countermeasures. Sometimes, normally the security guard comes by and says I'm not allowed to put my clawed chair into the aisle. Without the boost, I'm not toned enough to work the claw. He says it's a fire hazard, but most of the machines in here are. You see behind here? That's one ailing power strip juicing up every one of these babies. One wrong move and pinball and boom! This place lights up like my like chemistry teacher's hair when I turn that Bunsen burner too high. What? What the fuck? What do you know about the event? I'd love to tell you about the event. I really would. But this is our first time on the job together, Mac. You haven't yet earned my unbridled trust. Okay. What about Pat? Pat is a patsy. But not my patsy, that's for sure. He's related to some of my dad's friends. One time, at dad's show, Pat pulled the fire alarm because he thought someone was trying to set him on fire. Turns out he just had a warm piece of pizza in his pocket. No one could find him for almost an hour until the firefighters pulled him out of the concert hall's crawl space. He was covered in spiders and had eaten the pizza, but was otherwise unharmed physically anyway. That guy's pretty weird. <laughs> that was fun voice acting for like five minutes. Alright, let's go. Me, I'm known around these parts as Sweet Geraldine, criminal mastermind of the claw machine. You haven't heard of me? Honestly, I'm not surprised. I leave no fingerprints and Johnny Law doesn't have a clue. Or Johnny Boyer from my geography class. At least that's what he said when I asked him to the spring fling. Okay, so what do we have to do? Maybe we could come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Claw machine, it's a two-man operation. I need someone who's not gonna rat me out for additional prizes when plush comes to shove, you feel me? Low effort streamer. What do you say, old timer? One last claw machine score. The big one. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. Follow sweet Geraldine's instructions to get the perfect claw machine prize. Click left and right to control the crane. When you're ready to grab, click the center button. What? Click left and center button. What do you mean? Here she is, the big quesadilla, the mother load. Inside this vault is a treasure trove of prizes. I've had my eye on a couple of choice goods, but I need an accomplice with nerves of steel and hands of steel. A tall patsy like you can push the buttons and see the prizes. So what do you say? Let's get some cute loots for our cute snoots. First, you should warm up your tricky digits. Grab me any prize that catches your eye. Go on, old timer, show me what you got. Hmm? Oh, I'm going for the candy.
Right there? I want this. Got it! I heard a prize, let's check the slot. Ooh, my dad says I'm not supposed to have too much candy because I get hyperactive and prone to fits of father pinching. But I think he just likes keeping it all for himself. Alright, I got it first try. I got it. Real job begins. How will you react when the pressure's on? This time you follow my lead. And you give me that seashell, I think it's pretty. What's seashell? Oh, which one? There's two. There's three. They're all the same, right? A little bit more? That'll get it. That should be good. Right? Got it. You got one! What is it? I wonder if I'll hear the ocean if I put this to my ear. It said, Glacial Melt is changing ocean currents. Whoa, dude. <laughs> You're really good at this, but it's finally time for the big score. I can see it in your eyes. You're ready to get the ultimate prize. Get me the doll from the best, most awesome video game franchise of all time, Final Friend City. He's the dreamy one with the spiky hair. This is it, the big one. Which one? This one here? This one? Can't move it. It's gotta be that one, right? Nah, no, I'm not gonna be able to get that one. We gotta go for this one. Stop moving, stop. There's a puzzle piece? Where? Oh shit, there is! Alright, give me that. Oh, I fucked it up. Onimon anime is a bazillion years old and only weird grown-ups remember it. I bet you'd only get the reference of it being here at all if you were totally an old person. Alright, I want that puzzle piece. Get me the doll from the best, most awesome video game franchise. I think I've, I think I screwed it all up. I don't think I can get it. I have to clear this out, right? Spider-Man, you know, from that obscure internet cartoon. Whoop. Popcorn? Bloopalit, maybe. I'm Bahman, I'm Spider-Man. Here's another quarter. Could you try again, please? I want the puzzle piece. Wait, I gotta make sure I can get it first try. I might be able to get it here. Batman, Spider-Man. I go straight down through here, through the middle. I think I'll get it. That's it, right? Fuck. Wow. Dirt. This, wait, did we put dirt in there? I only have two more chances. I think I might be out of luck here. I have to make sure I can get this one. Let me try to... Uh, I got it. What? Did you get the- oh, no, I didn't! Yikes, even looking at this guy is like walking under a bazillion ladders or yeeting a shattered mirror into hyperspace. I, th I don't- wait, I can get this one over here. This one over here. I got it. Can the claw go that far, though? I don't think it can. I think I just lost. I got it! I got the puzzle! You can have this. I get the feeling it'll come in handy later. I got it. That's a Nintendo Switch sound! Bad news, old timer. That was my very last quarter. I'll retry in 30 minutes! Oh, it makes. I thought it was timed out. Okay. I, it's 30 minutes is gonna go by. I get it. All right, let's go. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. That's the punishment. 
All right, any prize, doesn't matter, let's just get one. What's this one? You try to get the key too? A big ED bar, they stopped making these in the 90s. This is just like when my science class dug up fossils. But when I found my old retainer under several strata layers of anime wall scrolls. What? Okay. I want the ducky. He is gone. How am I supposed to get the ducky? Oh. This is anime. There's only one ducky in here. Is this one easier to get or is this one easier to get? Probably this one. There it is. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Last year at recess, this girl in my class, Chrissy Baraducci, she got her snoot stuck in a hole near the swing set that was full of bees. Anyway, she looked kind of like this after, so I think I'll give it to her as a gift for her beeversary? Okay. You're ready for the ultimate prize. The doll from... The, okay, the, the, the spiked haired... Right, okay, there it is. Oh, should I get the key? I get the key. No, I don't want Batman. Batman, I haven't seen this guy in a while. I come over to house. What? I know you want the doll, but I want the key. Just smash the glass and take it. What the fuck? It's gone. Alright, whatever. I need to get it. <sighs> one more try. Just go. One, two, three, go. Okay, I'm done. I just gotta get... I gotta get... Uh, I'm, done. I'm 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 done. I don't want to mess it up. I, I can't... An hour can't go by. I, I gotta do these mini games. It's like 50 mini games. I gotta do them all. Or a reasonable amount of them to complete the game's progress. Right here. Got it. Those sounds are so loud. OMGs! I can't believe you got the dreamiest anime Game Boy from Final Friend City, Claude Stripes. Claude, his hair is almost as prickly as his social interactions with women. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much for helping me. Claude. Okay. I can't believe the big score. Thanks to you, we had a clean getaway. Family member badge. All right, I got one. I'll tell you what you need to know. The event is a secret. I'm a gator, not a rat. It's a birthday party. It's a birthday party. It's literally a birthday party. It's a surprise birthday party. And everyone's invited, and, and they, they, he thinks he's gonna get, like, killed or something. This is a birthday party. That's a birthday party. That's right, a classic double cross. That's the calling card of Sweet Geraldine Master Criminal. Alright. What else we got here? Joanne. Oh, jo Joni. Hey there, you up for a real challenge? I haven't seen you here before, stranger. Alligator New York City is a big place, but we tend to have regulars, you know? Little Rocco and Bonnie over there, those two are here every day, but you, I'd remember such a visible face like yours. I forget this. Ah, oh, look at me being a real jerk. I don't mean to be giving you a hard time or nothing, I've just been a little frazzled since last night. I had a dream that I was a ski ball, and some sticky fingered kid kept throwing me into the 10 point hole. Go for the 50, dingus, I tried to yell, but being a ball and all, the ding dong couldn't hear me. I woke up in a cold sweat in my kitchen, systematically throwing individual oranges from the window into my neighbor's terrarium. The vitamin C would have helped me shake it off, but all I had for breakfast was black coffee and a half a can of leftover candy cigarettes. Well, I got a dream for you. How much time do you have? How much time do you have? 
Alright, what is the event? Look, like, I know you're here spying for Pat for whatever reason, that's fine. But I can't tell you family secrets, you feel me? If you have info that hot, you'd have to really impress me. Alright, let's go. What do you want me to do? Smelled weird. It was a dumb kid. Alright, Pat's my Pat's my cousin, and also the most genuine doof I know. So you better be nice to him, you hear? He smelled it. I, I, I don't know. I just, the thing that popped in my head was like the drain commercial with the guys puking. I wouldn't want to have to pop you one. I'm told I got a mean left hook and a moderately insulting right hook. And a kick that could benefit from some anger management courses. I tried to sign up for some calming hot yoga at the YACA, but it didn't go over well. You ever get kicked by your own leg? It ain't great, bud. It ain't great. Okay. My name's Joni, or Baloney. If you're my fourth grade bully, come back to fight me. You're not, right? Damn. Anyway, I work here at Adelaide's Arcade, sweeping floors and keeping all the games running smooth as a baby's ball me behind. I used to work as a greaser in a shop downtown, but I left to be closer to my gaming hobby. But let me keep the leather jacket, though. And the company hairstyle. Alright, what are we doing? So what do you think? Can you roll the ball, old timer? I'm talking pinball. The old pinny B, as I like to call it. It's the advice of both of my friends, family, and the supportive therapist I see on Thursdays. I got the highest score on Lizard Wizards. You're eight months running. But I'm always looking for a real pinhead to fit my skills against. What do you say? Care to take on a pinball lizard like me? I didn't mean to make a joke. I take this very, very seriously. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Pinball? When the ball is in play, controlled by clicking L and R or the keyboard, beat 5,000 points. Easy. Absolutely simple. Five thousand. I'm gonna beat this right now. I literally just destroyed it. Has anybody played to beat your score? I just annihilated your score. It was it, embar it was embarrassing. I think that's so stupid. I hate- Pinball Machine should not have this. There should never be a way for it to fall down the left and right without you doing anything. Because that's not user error, it's design failure. Which is like, come on, like that's stupid. I don't know what- Pinball Machines should be like completely redesigned. Mad because bad. You can't control that if it goes down there. There's nothing you can do about it. What if I get a million points? El Ballo. You can influence it. What? By like picking the machine up and turning it around? You, that's illegal. That's illegal. You can't tilt a pinball machine, you get thrown out. All right, I, got, I destroyed the score. You're the annoying kid in the arcade spamming the buttons. What, because I like the sound? One of the most amazing sound effects of all time. They go in this order. Running water in a river and pinball flipper sound when you press the button. Number three would probably be... Hmm. I gotta make sure I get this right. A perfect swish at a basketball hoop. In that order. Opening a can of soda is uh, probably number four or five. 
Hey, it's been a long time since I've seen moves like that in front of the lizard wizards here. Got that ball hitting all the do wats and who's it so fast I could barely keep up. Releasing a big fart? No, that's not a great sound. That's like a gross sound. It's been a real honor to hang with us. Another student of the pinball arts. Alright, I got a puzzle piece too. About the event, now this might be just a rumor, but word on the street, there's going to be some sick games there. It's a fucking birthday party. Not pinball, per se, but you know, you can take what you can get. That's all I can really say. I'd better get back on the grind. <laughs> Trying to beat my last high score. Thanks for showing me your supple wrist and head. Catch you later. All right, let's go. <laughs> what time is it? Hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator? One with the hat? Hi, Pat. It's almost 10. Can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. Well, they gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. <laughs> but that could mean anything. Somebody came and threatened me. One free tomato soup. Best in New York City. Here's a coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. Alright, so I gotta go back. Am I on like a time limit? Like an actual time limit? I got some info. Ah, don't bop me! Oh, it's just you, my new friend. Sorry, I saw your shadow over me. I thought some kind of restaurant assassin was descending from the rafters to take me out. Pat. It's a birthday party. Just do what everybody else fucking does, and you would act surprised, even though you know what it is. It's a birthday party, relax. You're gonna walk in the door, and you're gonna go... You're going to walk in the door and you're going to go like this. Coat off. Lights are going to come on and you're going to go... Like that. Just like that. Now, those of you guys that have ever had a surprise birthday party that you knew about, don't get loud. Because that means you, you knew about it. You have to go like this. You have to have like a bag in your hand. Or like a coat in your under, like under your arm. You have to go... <gasps> what the... Hey! If you go like... Oh! It's like you know you played it up. You have to have like a bag in your hand. Like a like a grocery bag or like a briefcase or something. You have to like be holding it up like this. <laughs> and I kinda of surprised. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, of course. Don't you don't you didn't you have to dare me when you were in elementary school? You know, dare, dude, assassins really exist. At least I think that's the acronym. I was absent a lot due to my nut allergy. It was tough times for Pat at Willie's Peanut Butter Factory Elementary School. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, did you find out anything from the family? Well, yeah, I know the sound. They sound nice, but they just might be fluffing you up. You know, buttering your bread roll to throw you off the trail. Sorry, I've actually just been sitting here mainlining complimentary bread rolls the whole time you were gone. <laughs> I remember Burger Boy. We were at, I think we were at, where were we? I think we were at like Outback Steakhouse. And we, we ordered like, there was like three or four of us, we ordered entrees. And there was like this big loaf of bread there. Like the, like the free bread. And he, he didn't like order anything. Either he wasn't hungry or he like didn't want to like, he didn't have like any cash. And I think we probably offered to be like, hey, and he's like, nah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not that hungry. But I don't know why he like didn't think it was free. The, I think the waiter came over and he was like, hey, is that free? They're like, yeah. And he just goes, oh, nice. And he picked it up and like started eating it. It's like, what? Of course it is. He could have asked us that, right? Hey, hey, is the bread, is that free? Yeah. <laughs> I think the waiter was like, yeah. And just kept walking. And I think everybody at the table was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Ah, oh, So fun. All right. All right, I've actually just been sitting here mainline confirming bread rolls. And the, um, the bread from Outback Steakhouse was actually fucking unbelievable. You can say whatever you want about, like, some of these chain restaurants. I remember that it was, okay. It was like this little loaf. It was like a, I think it was like pumpernickel. That's right, what is it? The bread from Outback is, like, the best thing in the whole restaurant. 
like the whole restaurant. They gave you this kind of butter that you really had to really stick the knife in and really move it around. I mean, literally everything else at Outback, I don't remember if it was good or not, but that little, it was a tiny little loaf. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, the bread is unbelievable. It's really good there. Is it actually, or is he insane? No, no, I, I swear. Oh, there's a time limit. All right. Unless loggy with bread. Let's go. We going? Yeah, there it is. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and the butter, too. That butter's perfect. Yep, this is it. Hold on. That's it. I can. That's exactly what it is. This is the bread from Outback. The only thing I remember. Look at the butter, too. Yeah, the butter was so good. Like, is it weird that I would want to go to Outback and just order, like, an appetizer? And just be like, uh, I would pay for the bread. Right? Like, if, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, do you want, like, more bread? They'll do that, right? They'll come back. You want some more bread? But I almost kind of want to be like, hey, can you just, like, can I order, like, mac and cheese? And just, you bring out, like, five of these? I'll pay for them. Like, I'll pay for whatever, whatever you would think they would cost. Whatever they are, I'll pay for it. Red tier list. That's how I feel about Olive Garden. Red sticks from Olive Garden are actually really good. Steakhouses have, like, really banging bread. Yeah. You can order it to go? Really? Bread makes you fat. So what? <laughs> Alright. My safe place. Find the code to Pat's abode. Tell Pat remember his room code. Thanks for protecting me. It really helps to have someone walk me to my room. The wallpaper in here is a little intense. It makes me feel like something is staring at me. What am I gonna do? My heart can't take ten more hours of waiting. What's the event? What did I squeal the beans on? Cheese and crackers. Am I gonna finally catch this for the first time ever? Every time I think about it, I do, it just doesn't happen. I'm ready if it does. Since I was so worried about getting super murdered today, I did the smart thing and got a special lock from my hotel room door. This little something I picked up at the hardware store. I was worried I'd get so nervous that I'd forget the lock's passcode, so I saved it on my website, www.alligator.fun. I even made a button you can click for it. I'm really glad now I took this all these specific button making classes at my local community center. Okay. It's a virus website. <laughs> this is Pat's homepage, generated by Geoscales? Warning. <laughs> Don't click Pat only. About me. Sorry, under construction. What is that? Is this the code? About me. I'm Pat. After a while, crocodile. You know, <laughs> I don't know matter how hard I try, I Okay, don't click I Pat only. Know. If you're not Pat, you're breaking the law. This has been reported to the computer police. 916-19, okay. You got it. I got it. How do, I, how do I say I got it? I'm six one nine. Let's go. All right, here we are. Let's freaking go! Let's freaking go! This is for sure my room. You can tell by the unobtrusive lock I installed. Can you go to my website and grab the code? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. 
Nine. Enter the code. How do I enter the code? Oh. You did it! Thank you so much! Whoa! I can't close it. What's going on? Help! You gotta help me! I don't even like pink! What? No, 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 no! Back up, back up! I, I fucked it up! I don't... It's getting on my feet! Enter anything! Oops. Oh my gosh! Hello? My word! This is quite the mess. Who are you two, and why have you opened my door? Oh my, I'm Pat! This is my hotel room! I installed this lock because my family's trying to rub me out! This is my door, where I've installed a lock because my family's trying to rub me out. But if that's true, and my password still worked... Is your lock code 91619? Is your lock code 91619? We have the same code! And our families are both trying to kill us! <laughs> this is very funny. So long, stranger. Perhaps in another life we would have been total best friends. Like ships in the night, Mr. Pat. And if we don't tell anyone what you've seen here, or I'll come for you. Endlessly. That sure was a string of unlikely coincidences, wasn't it? Hope that guy's room is okay. That stuff kind of smells like brimstone. Do we actually have the same code? This is awkward. <laughs> We're not saying anything. Alright, if you have pink stuff in here, it's gonna be it's gonna be wild coincidence. Here we go. Thanks, I never would have remembered that on my own. Come on in. <laughs> Whew, I'm so glad we made it inside. Now I can really try to relax. It's hard to distract you from the investigation. I'll text you again when it gets closer to 4 p.m. So don't forget to check your watch. You know, in case you do get distracted doing a collection of menial tasks formatted in an enjoyable manner. Something like that. All right. Bye for now. Do I have any mini games? With Wait, who's that? God damn it! Ugh. Something nice about sitting by yourself in a restaurant with a good book. Come on. My girlfriend's coming to pick me up after work. I'm so nervous. Well, what's in the kitchen? Da! Da! That was so scary and loud. Oh, puzzle piece. Puzzle piece! Oh, uh, wait! Sound effect number five in the top five list is coffee pouring into a mug. <gasps> yep. Hey, bub, you're just in time for the, the trolley got here a minute ago. Okay. Why don't you go check out the city? Bring Mickey a hot dog, maybe, or some protective handwear. I'm gross. Okay. But hold on, there's people here. Who's this? If we eat a John, Johnny's here? Food's all right, but that bottomless chowder bowl was a disaster. Pick that thing up and bam! Chowder pants the rest of the day. Classic fucking comedy. Classic comedy. Oh dear, I think I may have left my scrapbooking scissors at home on accident. Oh, I found my scissors. Must have been your approach that gave me good luck, stranger. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm trying to go outside. 
home more since I had the new baby. Nana is watching her today, so here I am, out in the world. A little nerve-wracking to be away from the nursery after those months, to be honest. Oh, I already miss all the new baby smells. Well, not all the smells. We all know more things come out of babies than just sweet fragments of their cute little heads. Well, even that stuff is a little cute. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm Maria. It's wonderful to meet you. I was heading to the local YACA before I ran into you. I'm taking a class there today on scrapbooking, but I'm a little early. I meant to wait here in the lovely weather until their class on mom yoga and self-defense ends. Eat, pray, shove. Hee <laughs> hee. Do you mean my son, Pat? Oh, I'm just so proud of him. It's his birthday today. Did you? I fucking told you. I told all of you. Mm -hmm. Why is he not doing voices? This is depressing. What? It's long. Game. It's a birthday! It's a birthday. I told you it's a birthday. He's so funny with how he treats himself to a hotel stay every year on the day. He just loves that continental breakfast. Voices or riot. You're gonna get make me get up and like sing? Oh yeah! Jeremy has a really good voice, don't you, Jeremy? Why don't you get up and sing for us? Twinkle, twinkle. Little star. Like, I don't want to do that. I, why am I? I, I stop doing it. I don't want to do it. I do get concerned he eats too many of those, however. Sug shouldn't be coming out the snoot of a boy that age. Alright, what about the event? It's his birthday. The event is why I'm taking this class today. Okay, so what do you need? Help a mom out. Trying to put together our family tree to bring tonight as... Uh, yeah. I don't have everyone's picture. It's so hard for all of us to get together in one place these days. I don't think anyone would like me to use their photos from the early 2000s. We all made some questionable wardrobe decisions back then. Since you're already going around town, would you mind snapping some pictures of the family? And you get to, and you get, and bring back, I'll put in the family tree. Maybe if you get them all, something good will happen. Oh, I see you already have one there. Did you put it in? Mm hmm Let's see how much you learned so far. Okay. What do I know so far? Look and drag the alligator portraits in a position of the family tree. Come back anytime to see your collection. Oh my god, there's so many people! How many people are in this family? Elden Ring family tree. Look, there's a fucking million people. I don't know anybody. Can I take your picture? Where's my camera? Ain't nobody can follow these ferocious fingies. Where's my camera? I want to take a picture of these people. You already got her picture, but how do I take a picture of everybody else? All right, let's go to let's go to the fun district. I'm in the fun district. You got them from the minigame. Oh! <laughs> oh, 
god. Unknown. Hey again, your friendly city guide here. So I was wondering, have you been finding any puzzle pieces around? I'm gonna write in all capitals, STOP. Unsubscribe. <laughs> I thought so! You can find a lot of fun things you might not expect in the city by clicking around. Puzzle pieces, secret baubles to look at, interestingly shaped sewer rats. It's a real... menagerie. Maybe if you find enough pieces, you'll be able to do something good with them. Like unlock something, maybe uh, make a small blanket for a family of chili squirrels. The world is so bright. Have lots of fun looking around. Oh, there's all kinds of- wait, I sell bugs. Bugs, bugs for- all right, I'm going off. You know that there's like an old person I'm gonna do this, right? Bugs, bugs for sale, more than one even, unlike what the sign implies. Yeah, I sell bugs here. No, not for baiting, for eating. We're alligators and we eat bugs. Which is something you know because you exist here, canonically. Anyway, get bug by and oh, goodbye, kiddo. Ain't got all day. But I gotta sell bugs to feed my family with different bugs. Which I buy with an alligator currency. What do you know about the event? A event? I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I have a selective memory disorder, you see, and that I forget about things I don't really want to go to. What do you know about Pat? Oh, did you say Pat? That's my grandson's name. But also the name of the nurse that comes to massage the kinks out of my tail on Tuesdays. Did you mean Pat or Pat? I have to speak up. I'm hard of hearing due to a condition where I stop listening mid-sentence and think about the war. Most people call me Papuli, but my real name is Mortimer Giles Jr., the third and a half, on account of my grandfather being perfectly bisected by a wheat thresher during the Great Depression. Miraculously, he survived, but his life wasn't without its problems. Such is how it was hard to see him when he turned directly to one side. Grandpa, where are you? We'd call, but you know, Vail, he'd already slipped through a crack in the decorative linoleum. It's the last time we ever saw him. And also when those basement sounds started up. Well, look at me rambling here to a youth about cellar screams and the like. Perhaps you could jog this old man's memory if you help me out with a favor. You see, the only photo I have left of my dear late wife Martha has also been the victim of a wheat pressure incident. I can't seem to put it back together again. Oh, how I'd give anything to see Martha's sweet smile again. Get to help his old softy gaze upon his love, lost love once more. Sure, Grandpa. I'll help you. Get the pieces glued for this old dude. Make my wife, please. Okay. Like a block to slide it into the empty space. It'd be very simple a picture to gaze upon the alligator's beautiful wife. Uh-oh. Am I actually on a timer for this? All right, this has got to go up. Fuck, I'm so bad at these. You have no idea. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's close, it's close, it's close. I got it, I got it. Almost. I got it, it's it, I got it, I just did it. I got it, I just did it, I just did it. I literally just did it, that was in record time. That's it, I just did it. Oh dear, it seems you've seen the other side now with my secret wife. Could you put this one back together too? If not for me, then for creepy old coot grandpas everywhere? What? Oh no. 
What the hell? I don't know. This is gonna take so long. I'm not gonna be able to do this one. This has got to go top left. Just get this where it needs to be. Is that the right way? I think that's probably like that, right? This? I don't know. What? It looks like you're not very good at this. No. You're not taking this. Okay, that's correct. But I gotta get it over there. Alright, um, why are there two, why are there like three people in this picture? Who is this? Where does this go? Somebody in the... Front? Whose head belongs on here? I don't get it. Whose fucking head goes on here? Alright, it's that, it's that one. And then, there's, there's three people in this picture. <laughs> oh, leave me alone! This is here. Alright, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so he's all the way to the left. Right? She, she's in the middle. Right? Right? Hard. That's not right. I'm so confused. Is it? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bring everything down. Bring everything down. Bring everything down. I, I can't do these. This is too much. This is this is correct, but I don't want to touch this. Damn it, this is down here.
Fuck! Chat, please be supportive. <laughs> Dude, it's hard! You're nearly there. I'm, I know, I'm almost there. I just gotta get it correct. Alright, this has gotta go up there. Let me just get it over there. Okay, that's done. This whole side is done. Don't touch it. Come on! Alright, don't touch this one. Can I do it without touching that? Ah! Jeremiah, I'm melting. I'm doing it! It's so close. I'm almost there. This has got to come over here. Alright, I just got to do this. Making fun of me! What's it doing? Get out of here! I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's like it, it, it's too. It's like I, my brain cannot do it. My brain can't do it. Even if I sit there and think for a second. It's just like, ee, ee, like that's all I hear. All I hear in my head is, ee, the, the ne there's nothing but that sound. So easy. This is harder than Melania. I beat Melania. Look, everybody has a left left brain and a right brain. Okay, my left brain is this big. It's this big. It's like you, you'd have to go under a microscope to look at it. My right brain is so large, it's swelling up my skull. 
Yo, you get it? It's like, oh my goodness, it's swelling up so much. I can't even. It's so much. You, you have to go under a microscope to find the other side. A microscope. Left brain, right brain is a myth. Yeah, but whatever. You could, like, whatever. We can speculate. We don't even know how. Okay, we don't know how the dinosaurs died. We're speculating. It was a meteor. Yeah, but we don't know that. We don't know how they died. They could have, something else could have happened. They could have, like, eaten each other. There could have been, like, an explosion from a volcano. Not a meteor. Who knows? We don't know. A big rock, you don't know. A big rock could have hit it. Yeah. But also, there could have been, like, a volcano that erupted. And a, a huge, really, a super mega volcano. Right? Nobody knows. All we can do is we can look at fossils in the ground and go, That was a meteor, I think. Yep. We don't know. Nobody knows. We don't know. You don't know. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. Yeah, this puzzle's hard. You couldn't do it. All right. All right. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Bro, there's like one thing I can't do, and it's these fucking sliding puzzles. Break up the right column. <laughs> who cares? What is the- who cares if you can't do a sliding puzzle? Does it ra really matter? Does that really matter that much? That doesn't matter. Oh, you can't do one of those like- Ch -ch 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 who can't- oh, does it matter? Oh, I can't do it. Oh no, I can't do the sliding puzzles. <laughs> I can't- who cares? What if there was a life-threatening situation where there was an escape room and you had to get out within 10 minutes for that? Or, or like, no, nah, I'm dead. I'm just dead. I'm gonna die. I, I literally die. I literally die. One of you could have said in the chat, Hey, dude, uh, I'm going to give um, $50 million in bits if you do this in 10 minutes. I wouldn't do it. I, I actually wouldn't have been able to do it. I would have been like, oh my god. And I wouldn't have done it. I just want to die. I got it though. That was fun. Oh, Gertie, good old Gertie. It's been years since I've looked upon your sweet curly hair and your man breaking arms. Thank you so much for your help, stranger. Thanks to you, I'm reunited with both my lost loves. I just have like this red image just sitting here. Martha passed years ago, but Gertie is just in witness protection. You know, from all the man breaking. What a firecracker, that gal. On old days, I could still feel the phantom broken body pains she left me. Hey, event? Oh, you meet tonight's event. You young folk love staying up late. Me, I'm in bed by six nightly after a modest dinner of soft bug puddings and four to seven episodes of soft flutes on public broadcast. Anyway, Kittle, thanks again for helping me out, or should I say helping three out. Yeah, don't tell my grandkids. And look, here's a little something for your trouble. Puzzle a piece. Alright, no more slide puzzles and we'll be fine. The breeze, the practicing quartet, what a perfect day to be a, a live alligator. Sleepy pants. Ona the Snipper. Are you here about joining the resistance? Come to the front door, but don't let the feds tail you. Password is the only thing worth fighting for. Justice Absolute, which is also the name of my favorite Marx-leaning ska band. 
Yes, I said favorite. There are more than one. There are two, as a matter of fact. Their first single was about putting a potato in the tailpipe of a crooked alligator governor when he tried to join their mailing list. No GMOs. That's no governors may opt in. <laughs> Which event? I have four events to go to this week alone. Like tomorrow, it's Minestrone Monday at the soup kitchen. Then it's on to Taco Tuesday at the women's shelter. Wednesday doesn't have a funny name, but everyone does get those cupcakes with the white squiggly as an extra at the alligator food bank. If you're talking about tonight, though, you might as well go act like a cop somewhere else, Officer Pinstripes. I don't rat out my comrades. My name is bolted up so tight, the Count of Monte Cristo has spent years trying to escape from me while plotting his vengeance against those who wronged him. We just finished reading that book in my Tuesday lit class. Pretty baller, to be honest. I love revenge and breakfast. What do you know about Pat? Do you mean Hat Pat or do you mean Bat Pat? No, no, you probably mean Hat Pat. Bat Pat is my high school neighbor that used to pick me up for DSA meetings on Friday until he got grounded. He'd apparently broken his nine nice favorite set of extremely fragile and large-eyed porcelain deer with something. A club? Well, it's not important. We'll spring him eventually. Yes, Dad, I mean legally. Anyway, Hat Pat is an okay dude. I barely know the guy, but he still made me punch-proof vest to... He made me a punch-proof vest to wear to protests out of Dr. Soda bottle caps. He's a stand-up alligator. Maybe he drinks too much soda, though. Doesn't he know what the government puts in that stuff? I tell you, but the CIA agent that watches my cell phone would probably delete my Tumblr in vengeance. That's where I keep all my pictures of day one. Okay. I'm Mona, but you can call me by my online handle for safety, which is kpopangel85. What? I can have other interests besides the cause. Alright, what do you what do you what do you want me to do? Listen, I'm not trying to give you crud about Pat or something, I'm just a little stressed out. Not to go all first world probs on you, Bobs, but I have a sign due to be scanned tomorrow afternoon. If I miss this deadline, it won't get printed in time for the Indie Comics Annual People with Bangs convention this weekend. You know how long it takes to staple a stack of these zines? At least two full episodes listening to Gator Crater, a true crime podcast about the world's most blown up alligators. Yes, Dad, I also have Algebra 2 homework. If you can help me put some of these pictures together, maybe I could give you the straight dope about the dope. Are you ready to join the resistance? Okay. Make paper word salad because your voice is valid. Smells like Zion spirit. Mona Zion needs to cover three topics evenly. Choose a clip to add to the Zion. Then click the page to glue it in place. Because some clips cover two topics at once. So check it, Pinstripes. I've already done all the hard Zion stuff. Like picking the clips and cutting everything with semi-straight lines. I need you to pick a good selection, then glue them into place. Sadly, ever since the stickening of 2017, I'm not allowed to use glue myself. Or glue sticks. Or rubber cement. Or large stickers. Or small stickers. So you're gonna have to be the hero that sticks the picks. This sign encompasses, of course, the most... The three most important, most ziny things possible. I'm talking about social issues, indie comics, and K-pop, obviously. These three topics go together like peanut butter, jelly, and a third comparable thing that escapes me at this moment. But that doesn't mean we can lean into any one more than the other. My design has to be balanced or people will think I'm biased. That means no page space for anything more than the other. So pick up a pick and get ready to stick. Careful though, I have a limited selection of content and my glue is forever. Just ask my hamster. Rip in Valhalla, Goopy the Third, 2015 to 2017. Zine, for God's sake, Zine. What? Magazine. Oh. A magazine. When you're done, we'll ask the editor if it's ready to scan, so get pasting. Okay. So what was it? The cover is really important as to portray the essence of what's on the inside. We're like choosing what ironically humorous t-shirt to sport at Rosh Hashanah, that'll really unsettle your extended family. Wait, what? No, I didn't want to choose that. Eat it, Wibbly Finn. This will get him cancelled for sure. 
I, I just clicked on the first one. Don't forget to balance the topics. Okay. I wouldn't want anyone to accuse me of political bias or standing bias. Okay, so we already did wib Wibbly Finn, right? This one? Guys together forever. Together forever. Okay. What's this one? It's like a meme, alright. Oh well, I'm going to send this to everyone I know. And some people I like, don't. If you type random numbers into your phone, they have to go somewhere, right? <laughs> Jesus. Do we really want someone who eat Do we really want someone who eat a sad lunch for another term in office? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that's fucking crazy. That's so like sad. To be honest, this one kind of mondo bums me out. I didn't win the Zine Award last year. Yeah, last year's calm, but I did place third in Cool Bangs. Joshua Ransom? Oh, okay, wait. This is a like, celebrity or something? I didn't really get an interview. This is just what I hope he'd say to me. Ah, oh, I love you, JR. Hope you read this. I, this is balancing it out, right? Question. Oh, okay. That's okay. I love you. What type of girls do you like? Oh, any kind, but most of the kind that are like you on the inside. This one's a real exclusive. I can't believe we got it. Last inside page is a hard hitter. You have to really leave them wanting more. Like, really, actually more. Like, maybe they'll give you a couple more bucks to pick up a few more for their comrades. This is Lois. She feels Wibbly Finn is an inadequate mayor. Balance the budget? He can't even balance on this log in his own yard, nonetheless. Alright, yeah. This one's particularly damning, but I pride my zines on delivering... Oh, God. Healthcare or public restroom chocolate fountain? Wibbly Finn would rather save the scales on his back than weigh in on what matters. We are, but no, it can't be too, we can't be too political. We can't be too, this is, we, we already got political. Well, I will always be so alone and I'm destined to be on my own. At least Pompous Guy Misunderstands is still streaming. Final season. Okay. This one really taps into the deep well of the soul. We're almost there. Just paste on the back cover and we'll be done. <laughs> Mayor Wibblefin. Uncompromising hair, partisan teeth. He's got an okay hand. Gerrymandering fingers, embezzling tail. Mayor Wibblefin would make a terrible addition to the K pop group 8 guys, and therefore we should examine what type of pol politicians we really want to hold office in our beloved city. As you can see from this photo, he just doesn't fit, and therefore the case is made. But he is out of touch despite his effort to not look out of touch and looks gross here in this photo. <laughs> okay, I, I like it. This one makes me feel as if it's a really solid case. You're all done, hand it over. I said fair and balanced, but you're clearly favoring one topic over the others. I should have known better than to ask an outsider. What? I got it wrong? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Alright, it's this three topics. I, let me just get it right. Shit. Alright. Not more than one or the other. Okay, 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 okay. I- the- the- the mayor ones were just like kind of funny. Alright, we're gonna start with the mayor. Exposing the mayor. Okay. Expose. Start with the mayor. Then... Not too much mayor, so we're gonna go with... This is the band, eight guys. So we have one for the mayor, one for eight guys. Now I need... Okay, this is like a, co like a little comic book or something. Meme. Okay. So I've got one of each. Sad meal. We have two mayors and one of the others. 
two mayors. This is also because we have two eight guys and two mayors. Okay. Now we need something that's not the mayor or eight guys. Is this one? No. No. Shit. This is three eight guys, two mayor, one of something else. This is three mayor. No, wait, hold on. Oh, here we go. Yep, alright, this is like a comic book. We have three eight guys, two mayor, two. Right? Right? Is it a comic book? Alright, so we're almost there. Just paste on the back covers and then we need another uh, comic book, right? Is that gonna be alright? This one, right? Would that be 323? Three, three? Is that 232? Two, three, two? Would that be enough? Is this 8 guys? Oh, that's 8 guys. No! I didn't want to click. I wanted to put it over. Okay, whatever. We'll do it again. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it. Whatever, 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 whatever. I, I, I wanted to switch it. I just clicked paste. I'm gonna... Fuck. Another hour is gonna go by. Alright, fuck. Help me. Get tracked. <sighs> Shit. I wanted to move it. Okay, 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 okay. What do I start with? I'm not gonna start with a mayor. There's too many mayors. Don't open with the mayor. Open with, um... This one. I'm gonna open with the comic book one, right? That makes sense. Indie comic. One. Now I can do... I can do eight guys. And the mayor. Okay. So, we need to do meme. And now we need a mayor. There we go. We're pretty balanced now, right? So that's two comic, one of the other ones. Okay, here we go. This is two comic, two um eight guys. Right? Oh wait, no 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 no, wait. Is this an eight guys person? This is both eight guys. Is this a comic? Okay, wait. So this is eight guys. Yep. Okay, so we have two eight guys, two comic, one mayor. We need another mayor. Okay, we gotta balance this out. What's this one? We need a mayor, eight guys. The last one needs to be a comic, and that's it. Right? Mayor and comic? I don't have mayor and comic, do I? So I, I, my only options are, are mayor, right? So eight guys, comic. No comic for the back cover. You will have to have a comic. Term of two people. The last one can be mayor. Eight guys, burgers and fries. By the way, keep comic mayor. What should I do? Right now it's one politics, two K-pop, two indie comic. So this would be two, two, two. But, fuck, help me. Mayor, then comic book. This is mayor. Now we get comic book. And then the back cover is eight guys, and that's it. And that's it, right? I think. Back cover is comic book. I think that's correct. So then we end up with a comic and that's it. We got it. Got it. That's it. No, that's eight guys. Fuck! Did I get it? That's two, three... Does this count as both? The back cover is Mayor and... This is comic, though, technically, right? Do the mayor one? Is this, this, is, this counts as mayor and comic. This one is mayor and comic. 
right? This is you cringe. <laughs> I think that's good. That should be it, right? This is Mayor and K-pop. Mayor, I need Mayor and comic. All right, this is gonna be the one. What do I need? Comic was the cover. This is this is it. All right, that's it. That would be three, three, three. Nice. I'm just gonna write it fucking down. I'm gonna write this shit down. I'm. I can't. I've ran out of time. I've ran out of time. I didn't. I didn't know that two. There could be two different things. Fuck. God damn it! Alright, I get it. I'm gonna write it down. I'm literally gonna write it down. Alright. What are we doing? Okay. The cover needs to be comic. We got one comic. Some covers are two topics. Alright, so we need the cover. We need the comic cover. Alright. Then we want... May... No. Eight guys. Do one eight guys. Or should, I don't know. Which one covers all three? This one does? Because this would be one eight guys. And then this is, so that's good. Now we need a mayor. One mayor, which is right here. Fuck! Um, comic. This is two comic? Or should I do two eight guys? This would be two comic. The cover is all three. One, no, this is two comic. Two comic. Well, we have two comic, one eight guys. Now this is mayor. That will be two comic, one eight guys, one mayor. Okay. And this is eight guys. This is... This is... This is eight guys. There'll be two eight guys. That'll be two comic, two eight guys. One mayor. Am I doing the same thing? Okay, that's two comic, two eight guys, one mayor. Now I need... Um... Um, I need mayor... That'd be two, two, that'd be two, two, two. This would be two, 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 because we three guys. Three... What is this? Two mayor now? And then putting this would be three guys, two mayor. Um, eight, not three. What? This is one comic, one. This is. I wrote. I wrote. I fucking wrote something down. I fucked it up. Right now I'm at two, two, one. So this would be. I'm so confused. Is this counts as two? Left brain logic. I'll dodge an axe if you swing it at me. I I've lost. I'm lost. You know what? I gotta turn the music off. It's like literally fucking with my brain. All right, the music's off. We got two, two, one right now. This would be three, two, two. Right? Three, two, two. Three, two, two. If I put this here, 
I'm just fucking doing it. I don't care. I'll leave. I'm leaving if I don't get it right. Three, two, two. That's three comic, two, eight guys, two mayor. Now I need... This would be three mayor. I just need one eight guys on the back. And I'm done. Because that would be three comic, two eight guys, three mayor. That's it. I just need a comic on the back and that's it. Right? I just need po just comic on the back. Is it, is it not possible? I need comic on back. No. Comic on is on the back of the eight guys. What? There are no comic on the back. There is none. So if I do this, this would be free. I've stopped. I have to stop writing shit down before it happens. So this is comic. I'm just gonna look up the solution. All the backs are two topics. There are no comics for the back. So this would, this would get us the three comic, right? Both mayor. No, don't do both mayor. What do I do? Comic now and then mayor. It's a comic and also eight guys. Is it? This is eight guys? No, it's not. It's a streaming thing. I'm just doing it. I don't care. And I'm literally no. I, I'm literally not coming back. Okay. Two. Now I just need mayor. And that should be it, right? Right? Or do I need eight guys? This is it. Is this eight guys in the back? This is it? I did it, right? Yo! Let's show it to the editor for approval. Uh, huh? Yeah, sure. We're good. What's going on? Mayor, comic, comic, eight guy. Alright, what I was gonna say is five guys went up to S tier for me. Looks like we're all set to scan and send to the printers. Uh, I've recently had five guys. And it was... It was way better than Shave Shack. I don't know what happened to Shake Shack, but holy shit, it fell off hard. So hard. You want to know something fucked up? You know, I, I I was a Shake Shack fan. I was an absolute Shake Shack maniac. Um, I've, I've had it a few times. And holy shit, it fell the fuck off so bad. The last time I've ordered Shake Shack, the burger's been, like, not good. It's like the text really has been weird. And if you get lettuce on a Shake Shack burger, this is just my... This is what's happened to me the last few times. This might not be your experience, but holy shit, it's been mine. Dude, the lettuce is like one tiny little joke piece of wilted, like, wet, gross lettuce like this. It was dog shit. Dog shit. I'm not, I'm not kidding, it was dog shit. The, if you open the bun of, like, a recent Shake Shack burger, it fucking looks like this. And it's like, just... It's one tiny little pathetic piece, yeah. I had a, a Five Guys burger. The lettuce was fucking... Big and crispy. There was a tomato. It was a big, thick, delicious tomato. The burger was cooked perfectly. I have to amend the uh, fast food tier list. Shake Shack literally went down to like a B. Maybe even lower. It sucks. Literally was my favorite place. I'm sorry. Like, it, you you know I'm not a bullshitter. I, it was up at S tier. But, but why was there a tomato on it? I just felt like it one day. I know, tomatoes are, I know, tomatoes are gross. I just felt like it. It was good. I felt like it. I felt like it. You fell off. Shut up. I felt like it today. I didn't eat it today. You know what I mean? I felt like it like recently. I just felt like eating a tomato on my burger. I, just, I felt like it. I had to test to see how, how juicy and firm and crispy it was. You know what I mean? I had to test it. Because if your lettuce, if your vegetables, I gotta check and see that because that's important. I don't like lettuce, uh, tomato on a hamburger, but I had to try to see how, how it was. It was crispy and it was Juicy and watery and delicious. Calm the fuck down, dude. What do you know? 
Oh, that's pretty rad tagline. If I had public access channel talk show, which is 100% of the cards, by the way, if I keep a B plus his second term, that would definitely be my sassy catchphrase. Anyways, the event is a gross allocation of funds if you want my opinion. I'm fine. What, calm down. What are you talking about? Do you know that helium is a finite resource? Seriously, I'll Google it. Every balloon, it's a party. Every balloon at that shindig is basically a big heck off to the folks that really need it. Like scientists and clowns that are down on their luck but have hopeful hearts. I'll see you there tonight, comrade. Bring your favorite safety pin covered jean vest for righteous popping. Yep. Five guys really took over. I, I feel like I was kind of unfair to five guys. Because when you order a five guys burger and you get fries, uh, they just dump... They just dump fries in the bag. It's just it's like a joke. They just put like five servings worth in the bag. And they're kinda like messy and shit, and they're a little bit they're a little greasy for me. But the burgers It went up to Esther. I have to be honest, I'm sorry. Alright, we got it. We got the puzzle piece. Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Hey. <clears throat> oh, hello. We're the Downtown Quartet, and we'll sing you a song. Not a very short one, but it also ain't long. We'll sing it in the morning, and we'll sing it past noon. We've had a lot of noise complaints, and we'll be gone soon. Hit the solo, Maurice. To jail. We can't tell you much, but we'll sing like a bird. We're Pat's aunt and uncles. He's our darling nephew. That didn't rhyme. All except for Louis, who's just part of the crew. Take it, Louis. Oh, baby, I'm not related to Pat. No, nothing like that. I'm just a guy they know that takes part of the show. Oh, oh. Whoa, oh, dude, pull it back. Sorry. Okay. Denise. Louis. Patrice. Maurice. We're gonna sing a song. If you can help us with our act, we'll tell you all that we heard. Barbershop upset. Play. Give them a solo without triggering an oh no. Help the alligator quartet hit their solos. When the scrolling bar shows a singer's background, point the spotlight at them. Sounds easy enough. Warm up our vocal cords. Keep an eye on the scrolling bar at the bottom. Find the spotlight at the singer with a matching background. When the groovy disco pattern appears, shine the spotlight at the disco ball and we'll all sing together. Ready, gentlemen? Ready, maestro? What? <laughs> hey! You, what's going on? Oh, disco ball. failed. Oops. I didn't get it. I didn't know what they wanted me to do. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I get it now. I didn't get it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Why are you so pissed? I'm doing it right. I got it right. What are you talking about? You can, this lady's not very good. Say, that felt pretty good. What do you think, fellas? Not enough Patrice time. Patrice demands more solo time. Okay, one more time for Patrice. He's actually colorblind? No, I'm not. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Did I get it wrong? What are you talking about? That's correct! 
What's happening? Am I, am I stupid? Am I stupid? What's happening? What's happening? He's throwing. I I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. We could have had more timber. Come on. The singing word. I'm a real singer and I, I'm gonna prove it. Okay, last time. All right, everyone, give it everything you got. That's right! She just sounds bad. Like that's not my that's not my problem. You just sound bad. I got it. Preschool level color now. I thought I did it right. You guys are just fucked up. Got it. All of them. I did it! Come on, man. Oh, right, sorry. Oh, here we go. You helped us with our song and to improve our content. Now what we're gonna tell you is very... We're booked at the event today. Thanks for all your help now. We'll see you in a wink. Unless we get arrested, then please spring us from the clink. This game's cute. Hello, hello, your pal at the city aficionado here. Just want to make sure you know about this cool local place called Nana Roo's Antiques. I'm already there. I know what you're thinking. Antiques are for grandmas. And you're right. The whole shop is run by a grandma. Well, a Nana. A Nana Roo. There's a great local legend about the place that it's super haunted by like five billion ghosts. What's really haunting though is the prices. Rawful. Ha. Uh. Oof. Oof. Just a little shopping humor from me to you. I'm not really rolling on the floor. Anyway, Nanaru is a much of a card shark, as she is a deal shark, so be careful. If you have time, defo check out her colorful shop, it's tons of fun. You were right, we're here now. Check it out. I used to be a porcelain doll, but I came to life because of this magic shop. At least that's what I tell my ex-wife so I can come sit here all day. I've got a good butt groove going on in this shelf. You're late. I've been waiting for you for an hour. What do you mean you don't work here? Well, it's not as if you can fault me for thinking so, but with a drab wardrobe and pathetic sunken eyes. Everything here is the clear stink of death upon it. Oh, except for me, of course. I'm merely a poor, poor woman in deep mourning. Not at all one involved in mysterious circumstances the police cannot explain. Oh, I can't even imagine attending the event unchaperoned. Only my poor, dear husband had been less poisoned. I wouldn't have to suffer such horrific indignities. Will no one think of me and my feelings? I'm merely a lonely widow. Left behind for the great beyond by my beloved late husband, Horace. Oh, Horace, such a... Oh, he's such a wonderful wisp of a man. Even at his most poisoned, he forever remained regal, kind, and absurdly wealthy. Now in his absence, I find myself trying to take comfort in the metaphysical arts. If only I could hear his sweet, strained voice once more. Lady's fucked. Oh, Pat, you mean the one with the ridiculous hat? Yes, I'm aware of him. Terrible stain on the bloodline. That Papuli fellow. I created all sorts of nonsensical cousins for myself and my dear children. Once removed at the very least. Though it's a little comfort to me. Especially when I see someone like Patrick vault over a coffee table at the holidays. He thought he saw the Spider's Man. Or whatever nonsense. Okay. Your questions grow tiresome. Your questions! Don't you see you're riling up the vapors? 
What are you, the lead detective investigated the mysterious circumstances around my late husband's untimely despise? I fucking can't read. <laughs> How dare you? I've had no rest for the past week. Whenever I close my eyes, I am visited by Horace's specter, reaching out to me. Perhaps trying to send me information about some secret treasure he wanted me to inherit on top of the rest of his vast estate. Will nothing stop his ceaseless haunting? Out in your heart to help this poor widow, I can give you the information you seek. Just use the spirit board to contact Horace, and please find out what my dear late husband wants, or what kind of evidence he has. You got it. Follow the ghost through the eye of the planchette. He could get tricky. The faster you move, the more suspicious the widow gets. Okay. Prove me you can contact my beloved late husband or I shall out you as a charlatan to the entire mean ladies bridge club. Which one of where's his, where's the husband? Wait, uh, what, what, what does her husband look like? I don't remember. What does your husband look like? That him? That's him. Where the- where is this guy? It does seem like my Horace. Perhaps it really could be him. Okay. Ah, uh, I get the suspicion bar, right? Suspicion bar. Dude, are you a sus guy? Yeah. I, I'll, I'll be at, uh, I'll be at uh, Comic Con next year. I have a booth, a sus booth. And I'll be like shaking everybody's hand and stuff. Oh! Ho -ho! I got it. No, I'm not- I'm kidding, that's a joke. That's a joke! I gotta pee and I want some more green tea. Hey, hey, hey! Can I get you anything? Well, I'm up. Can I get you something? Hey, can I- hey, hey! Can I get you something? Alright, so uh, how many- how many people do I- have I met? I must go tell the children at once, and also hide some sensitive items in the toilet paper. Perhaps. Wait, I read that- I just read that- I, that was my dream. I simply don't have any more time to discuss the event with you today. Farewell, my medium. Alright, well you- what about you? You have something to do? Welcome to Nana Ruiz, where if there's ooze on your shoes, it's just because of the booze. It's haunted as all get out in here, sweetheart, so mind the ectoplasm. Been buying some antiques from me today, dollface? We just got on a huge new shipment of designer grandma plates never meant to be eaten on. Well, a bunch of confusing teddy bears from the 70s with realistic plastic faces. I can get you a real deal on one of those if that's your fancy. Is that your fancy? I know you kids are into weird stuff these days. Yes, sir, I see you over there. I'll be with you in a minute. Who are you? Well, sugar pie, as the sign may have alerted you, I'm the one and only Nana Rue herself. Purveyor of only the finest antique goods and the finest antique store owners. Yeah! Come on, honey, tell me I'm looking good for my age. 
Alice, stop harassing the customers. My sweet, sweet Patrick. He's my absolute shortest grandson. Why, it feels only like yesterday. He would run about the shop squealing about ghosts trying to eat his kidneys and hiding in humorously oversized vases. As you can probably tell by my expression, that actually was yesterday. You guys are wicked funny. That boy might not be playing with a full deck. Hey, hey, you be careful with that vase. It's expensive. Oh, so Pat's inviting his little friends to the event. Isn't that cute? He's such a darling, that boy. I'll be closing the shop early to get over there on time tonight. Gotta strain all the ghosts out of my wig before the shindig. You know, those things that tend to high, they hitch a ride. Bat chest. Dude, play the game. I'm doing that! I'm doing that! What? I just stopped for a second to look over here! It was one mo- Okay, it was like- It was like one full second. You had to- It took you- You typed that while I was playing it. It took me- It took you longer to type that sentence. He's gonna get stun locked. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm trinketing out of this conversation. Sorry, Pumpkin. Looks like I have to stop yapping about the event and take care of a customer. Unless you defeat me at a round of cards. What do you say? Let's do it, yeah. How do you play Old Maid? On your turn, click to take one of Nana Rue's cards. Then, she'll take one from you. Any matching pairs will be removed. The player left holding the Old Maid loses. How do you play? How, how, how do you play this? Let's go fish. Ooh! So I gotta sit, we gotta get pairs. What? Here we go. I'll get you next turn, I know it. You seem nervous. What? Do we have the same cards? But what if she- what if she- am I gonna lose? Or do I win? The universe wanted me to make a pair, so now what? Oh, I won! Oh, that was easy. Uh, that was easy. I win. You beat me fair and square. Holy shit. Look at his mod chat for a second. Grandma had another dream. Uh, oh dear. Perhaps it's one of the worst stories he has ever shared on stream. Was it though? Alright, if you see my older sister Constance around, you should try to coerce her into playing around with you, uh, with a, a doll like you. You get a real kick out of it. I had to warn another mod about it. Was it bad? How was it bad? If they're at 8 sharp. Okay. Something will get knocked, the boy. Something will get knocked off the boy, we'll make sure of it. Gwah! Hey, it's me again, Pat. It's almost four, and I could really use your help. Oh shit, it's almost eight. We have to—we st stop this at eight. Do I have to do something before eight? You know anything about shoes and the wearing of them? Yeah. Perfect. Could you come meet me at my hotel room? Just make sure you aren't followed by any shifty characters, or, or college-age canvassers in cargo shorts. That maybe they could be like gas. I already gave all my dollar bills to that guy, pretending to be a statue outside Fourth Street. I'm on my way. With the blood? <sighs> Do 
Jesus Christ. I want to know that guy's story. <clears throat> Good evening to you, fellow traveler. Have you come to imbibe some ales after your long journey as well? Carcon, fetch us your finest novelty wine based on a popular sci-fi television show. I sued. I like dabbling in a little bit of cosplay myself. I just last year at Alligator Comic Con, I dressed as a character of my own creation. Derelis, Great Wizard of the North. My brother Mickey helped me put it together, though he did get it a bit slimy. Yeah, it's a party. What, am I not supposed to say that? I'm telling him it was you. That is my second cousin, as well as my second favorite person to play Dungeons and Dragons with. First being my internet friend, Carl, whose dad got rich Bitcoin mining. That's a bard, so, you know, pretty party useless. <laughs> Great singing voice, though. He can really wail on that juice harp. I'm Derry, known as the terror of the east side in most magics. Happening card game circles. On campus, I'm known as a terror of the AP Bio Lab, or the one with that haircut. Bald coin is still an emote. Wow. It's still there. I never deleted it. Okay. You're leaving already. Safe travels, my fellow traverser of the mortal plane. After we'll meet again in another realm or on an internet forum for roleplaying. What are you doing over here? Hello, esteemed guest. Mr. Pat asked me to inform you to come straight to his hotel room upon arrival. Can you update your emotes? I don't know. I mean, I, I have no—I don't think I haven't updated my like paid sub emotes in like three years. Yeah, it's true. Okay, let's go. Warn you to knock first in case he was wearing pants. Alright. I don't forget what I just said and come with me. I'll walk you to Mr. Pat's room at once. Okay. I can drag this hallway. Oh my, how embarrassing. Please don't tell the internet. We've had a biohazard internet. Again. I can't read. Okay, thanks for your patience, esteemed guest. We've now arrived. Mr. Pat is expecting you. Please just knock in case he's... Have a Johnny of a day. Welcome back. I was just trying on some... Nothing. I was doing anything, actually. Have you talked to more of my family? Found out any secret... <laughs> plans? You think they're throwing me a... Oh, no. You're totally wrong about that. I would definitely know if they were doing that. Well, it sounds a little far-fetched, don't you think? You can't pull one over on old Pat on his birthday. That's what I always say. If you guys want to hear the best cat puke sounds, those, like, ASMR eating, like, kind of, what, mukbang videos? I don't know what it is about these. I Like, I watch a lot of stuff, right? But they'll, they drink, usually they drink, like, a big soda. At the very beginning. They'll always drink a huge soda. Like, oh, well, well, today, before I eat this big meal, I'm going to drink a giant, I'm going to drink a huge soda. And it's just like, it sounds like the, the microphone is inside of their throat. It's just like, cat puke, cat puke, cat puke. And I say cat puke every time. Please, minus two. I don't watch these every day. I'm just saying, like, that's where you can find the best cat puke. Like, you would want to find them. I don't know. I, I don't, I like, what do you mean stop? What? What's wrong with you? Mods, deal with this guy. Mods, deal with him. You lost 500 viewers from that. I didn't lose 500 viewers from that. I lost 500 viewers because I'm playing a puzzle game. <laughs> Dermot is disgusting today. I'm just tell- I'm I'm tell- what? Alright, well, I, I say it sometimes, like, once a year. What? Stop reading the one guys. Huh? 
You're gonna make me throw up. I, ju I just said that if you watch those eating videos, they have cat puke sounds. What? I'm not allowed to have an observation about video content I've seen at some point in my adult life? You know what's fun? There's no don't end, never mind. I say I always fall asleep with autoplay on and when I wake up I see what's there. I don't know, I don't know. It's like weird. Like I would love to just kind of be like, you know what, let's see what we get. And then I'll open up, like I'll tell my iPad usually sitting right there. And there'll be something playing. Sometimes I wake up to cat pukes. I wake up to like the, the like eating videos and I'm just like, what's that? Oh, that's where we are. And I go back to bed. It's kind of like a mystery. You don't know what ha what's going to happen. In the meantime, though, I actually called you back here because I needed your help. It's no different than leaving the tea. So let me ask you a question. Do you guys leave the TV on in the hotel room? You guys fall asleep to the TV? How's that different? You don't, like, put the TV on to fall asleep to the TV on uh, some random channel and just shit. You don't even know it's going to be on there. It's going to play. What do you mean, no? Zoomers don't do that. Am I out of my- am I out of my fucking mind? People don't, like, leave the TV on to sleep to some- like, a lot of time? Polly said, The last two weeks he's almost made us puke twice from nasty food videos. Alright, listen, I almost puked last night because I was watching this video where this guy ate this like, gross thing. That's not that's that's real, yeah. I I I almost puked last night. I almost puked for one second because we were uh, when I say we were watching, I was watching. I don't know, so I just I want I wanna have ton I wanna have tons of knowledge up here. I want to be, like, informed about everything. You know what I mean? So, like, food videos and, and like, Halloween conventions. And, um, like, infomercials. And I, I want to be all-knowing. I have to be all-knowing. I need to know everything. You know what I mean? Like, that. I, I, I need to know about all these subjects. I, ha I just need to, like, absorb them. Sir Gideon. I don't know. A shoe-related problem. I don't usually wear them, but I figured if I did tonight, maybe I'd have a better luck at it. Hot foot it out of the event safely. So sometimes when you when you want to be all knowing, you might watch a video where like a guy's like eating like a big like thing covered in cheese and it makes you almost puke. And you go, all right, I don't want to see it. I'm done with that. I have that knowledge now. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> the loathsome cat puker. The issue isn't my usual shoe with- alright, let's move on. What? What's the weirdest infomercial you've ever seen? I don't- infomercials aren't usually weird, they're just kind of background noise. Okay. Last week, my Nanaru gifted me an antique arm war from her shop as an early birthday present. Turn your noise get up higher, I heard the fart. Stop it. It's a big, spacious, practical, and so super haunted that it's leaving a weird stain on the park way flooring just by existing. I haven't been able to find any of my shoes, and whenever I open a drawer, weird stuff happens. Why don't you see for yourself? Okay. Peruse for shoes. Find a pair of Pat's favorite shoes by clicking on those suspicious drawers. Be careful if Pat gets too scared. He'll give up on shoes forever. After each round, the contents of the drawers will shuffle around. Spooky. I can't believe you. in this generation of people that consume media all day that I'm the weird guy for watching TV at night. Huh? Huh? Help me find my shoes. Alright, let's go. What? Got it. That's a shoe.
No, that's not a shoe. That's a sandal, right? Gross stuff. Ugh. Second ship. Oops. It's a matching game? You don't think I... Relax. Shoot! Game Boy Advance! This is the second one. Third one. What the fuck was that? Shoot! Oh, it wants me to do it in succession. Oh, okay. I, I know. <laughs> alright. 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 That, where's that one? That one was like over here somewhere. I don't remember. I didn't know it was in it. Okay, wait. So where's the other one? Where's this one right here? I don't. Where's this? I don't fucking know. I. Okay, here. This one here. I didn't know that's what that. that what, usually it would stay open. In, like a, in a memory game, they would stay open. It would be like, go oh, find the other one. It stays open. I. Look, I get it now. Start timing people out for a year if they continue to be mean to me. Okay. That's top left. Alright. Okay. Bingo. See, I thought usually in a memory game that's it, the card stays flipped over, the thing stays out. A year? What a tyrant. Where's the shoes? No. No! There's a ship. Okay, there's one. Right below it? Like the same one again. That's not how it works. I got it, I'm fine. You got all pairs of shoes. Go bear flipper like I usually do. Sorry, I'm just so nervous. I'm not thinking straight. Sorry I made you come back here for nothing, but I really appreciate that you did. Alright, oh jeez. I'm so glad we met today. You're the best pal I've had in a long time. Yeah, I'm getting all mushy. You get back out there and dig up some more dirt. We only have a little bit more time. Onion ring? Uno Giorno, city pal here. Did you know that's how they say hello in Italy? At least that's how what it said on the back of my crisp rice's box today. Let's see. There's a lot of different alligators from all over the world here in Alligator New York City. That's why they call it a melting pot. Not because of that strange smell the sidewalk gives off in hot weather, as I originally thought. <laughs> if you want to meet any interesting people during your stay, maybe you should start on the trolley since everyone uses it. You never know who you might strike up a conversation with out there. Or who might throw a bag of hair at you and then run away. That's the big city for you, full of surprises. A bag of hair? Okay. Where have we not been to? How about the, um, the unsavory part of town? Go ahead. This weirdo again. Hey, did you say something? I see you over there eyeing my cards, youngin. But I ain't giving them to you. 
Last time I was given cards away it was long before you were born, and now look at me, I'm old. See what Sharon gets you? Aging irreparably. One day your skin is sucked close to your skeleton, and then you turn around, and boom. Your jowls are hanging down past your collarbone, which are now hollow inside. Is that what you want? Hollow collarbones with a nest of daddy long legs inside? Then stop staring at my card. Moisturize every day. Get a good, just light face moisturizer and do it. If you do it every day, after you get out of the shower, dry off. It'll look like this. I ain't telling you a kid like you nothing. I have acne? There's one right here. You never get, look, it's, you're gonna get little pimples and stuff. What, did Pat tell you to go steal his great aunt's cards? Because if he did, I ain't gonna give him his Christmas present this year. Which, of course, is a bag of oranges and a strange tin of popcorn from 1987. About 1985, when Super Mario came out. That's only the business of me and the nurse that puts the ointment on my back bees three times a week. Stop staring at my cards. Although you could play me for the information, as long as you don't stare at my cards. What do you say, kiddo? Think you can beat the old maid? That's right. Okay. So this this is the, the this the thing before was the tutorial for this. Beauty before age, my dear, you go first. Play cards like an old lady. Now we're going right in the middle. A ten? Oh, is that on a ten? You just took the same card back. Wait, that was the old maid? There you go. I won't lose. I can pick cards in my sleep. Sometimes it feels like the pairs want to find me. Left. That's the old maid. Alright, so I just I have to end up with the old maid, right? Good. Queens? No, you don't want the old maid. Take the old maid. Oh, fuck. Okay. This is hopefully this is ten. Oh, no. Did I lose? <laughs> oh. Go home with the tail between your legs, baby. Maybe your mommy will wipe the tears off your snoot. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Hack. <laughs> Can't retry it. <laughs> That's just RNG. You can't be, like, good at that game. Hey, buddy, you're a good old guide here. Oh my god, I just, like, scratched your eyes. I just wanted to warn you in a big city. In a city's so big, there are bound to be parts of that are a little seedy. Fucking seedy tough guys. Seedy tough guys who eat the seeds of things without spitting them out on a napkin politely. Be careful. Don't go clicking around in back alleys or anything. You never know what you might find. What is... Do you have a GPS on my phone? Why do you know I'm here? Hey, what are you looking at? Trying to listen to our exceedingly private rooftop conversation? Beat a creep. Hey, you got a light? No, not for my cigarette. I mean in general. It's kind of dark out here, and I've got a spooky ghost allergy. You ain't seen any, right? I say, you there, vagrant. Brother, I don't think that they're a vagrant. They've got that suit on. Perhaps a hobo king. Hmm, you may be right, sister. You there, hobo king, come here a moment. 
Honestly, brother, what are we even doing in this filthy part of town? Even breathing the air outside the seedy watering hole is making my scales lose their highly regarded luster. I agree, sister, but you know as well as I that we had to find an unbiased bonehead for our beneficiary. So anyone at the estate was out. Besides, you know how weary I grow of literally everyone we know in the whole world. Shall we talk to the stranger with the briefcase, then? Yes, yes, as long as it's not someone that gives me the dreadful horror of being known. Hey guys, what do you know about the event? Well, now you're going to have to be more specific. I attend lots of events, you know. Balls, galas, exhibitions, princes and fortunate performance art shows. If you're speaking of last week when I walked the runway for gillless fashion, fishery, rubbery pants for moist alligators. I'll have you know I got a write-up in the magazine spread for highlights for children. Anyway, if you're talking about tonight, we have no qualms spilling the whole secret to you. That is, if only you'd do us the smallest of favors. Do you guys know who Pat is? Pat? Why, he's our second cousin. That's like a cousin, but thankfully a little more removed from your gene pool. The amount of DNA shared between us is blessedly on the shallow side, much like your personality, sister. Oh! Oh, Prince! You're such a cut-up! Much like how I cut up your invitation to the Met Gala this year and fed it to the cat. What? But the theme this year was the Monopoly mascot. And you know Mittens the Third is on a strict diet for her failing kidneys. <laughs> Brother, this nobody doesn't seem to be aware of who we are. Bless you. Indeed, sister. Perhaps with that pinstripe style, they've spent the last 30 or so years locked in a storage closet with their fingers in their ears. And their other fingers in their eyes. And fingers yet still in their nose. Obviously, since I released that perfume this year. Obviously. I am Princess Valentino, heir to the Valentino fortune. And this is my brother, Prince Valentino. He's also the heir since we're twins. I'm the evil twin. They couldn't, does it look weird when I do this on camera? They couldn't test for that gene. And you know it, Prince. You see, our beloved daddy passed away just recently from poison-related complications. You know, the natural way. We're splitting up our shared inheritance, but we could really use a mediator. And someone to protect my beautiful face from dear sister's punches. It's true, I punch super duper hard. If only we had some help dividing up daddy's precious possessions. I'm sure we could tell you the information you seek. So will you help us, or do you have hobo king duties to attend to? We need you. I'm here. Use the checklist to assign an item to each of the Valentino twins. Can't leave until both twins are happy. Pay attention to the indicator bar. Okay. Okay. Let's get on with this. Daddy's not getting any more alive. I'm already bored. Um, okay. How do I... The inherit... The Valentino inherit... I must said and whatever. Minx, okay, armor. Who's that go to? All right, I gotta get these right. The armor is gonna go to you. Hmm, shiny, damaged, and empty. Well, it wouldn't be totally out of place with me, I suppose. You take the minx stall too. Oh, cozy, just the kind of thing I like. Warm and mate, throw the suffering of another. You're gonna have the hat. Oh, the Secret Society hat? I wondered if it had been lost after the SWAT raids. You can have the wine, too. Oh, this really brings back... Oh, didn't like that. Remember when we walled up tipsy cousin Cleo in the wine cellar after lowering her with the promise of an even finer vintage? Oh, how we laughed. Um, do you want the vinyl? These are mostly complications of Halloween sound effects and screams, so yes, please give this to me. What a weird thing. What a weird thing. The sound, Halloween sound effects. How do you record those, right? You need to record Halloween sound effects in a studio. I don't think you can do that in like a home studio. You have to be in a place where no one's gonna, no one will hear you. It's a bunch of screaming. And like, <gasps> oh, 
please no! Like, where can you even reliably do that? Would you guys buy it? If would you guys buy a CD if I made a Halloween sound effect CD and sold it? It was like uh, like like three hours long of just like background Halloween sound effects. All right, you take no, we don't like the photo. All right, well I gotta even this out. Take the armor then. I will be smashing with great grandmother's claymore literally. Okay, you can have the painting. I right, really like the painting. It could, it could have like a, a like an intro by Bugleberry. You're about to hear some of the most horrifying Halloween sound effects ever, ever compiled. Yeah, it, like a, a, an intro by Bugleberry. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. All right. What about a sack of cash? It has to be even, right? EJ's made of two parts endangered tiger, one part great barrier reef. Daddy knew how to live. Urn of ashes. I'll give that to you. Whoa. Okay. Never mind. Um. What crystal orb? Halloween farts. <laughs> I mean, you understand this city's gonna be just absolute horseshit, right? This, this is gonna be insane. This is gonna be just an insane, like, 25 track CD. Okay. Alright, we need this need to be even. Here, you take the ashes. And then you take the orb. Alright, this is pretty good. How about the sports car? Alright, we're almost there. What about a blade? No. No, it's not even. All right. So, what about the? You take the vinyl. Okay, that's that's it right there. I got it. Shit. Does it have to be full? Bro got four things. Well, he's really happy about it. What do you mean? He's got tons of stuff. No, you don't want the parrot. Okay, you really like the photo. You really like... No, you like the sports car more. You keep the sports car. You like that armor more. None of, neither one of you like this at all. So you can take that back. What about the, the photo? Alright, you like the photo more? You like the hat more? Kind of. You like the wine? No, 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 no. Nope. What about the blade? Alright, you like the blade more? What about the orb? Alright, we're almost there. You're at full. Shit, no. Stay over there. His memory is so bad. They change! They they change, they change, they change. Urn of Ashes. Okay. They're so close. The hat? It's so goddamn close. They change. It's literally a centimeter. Go back, go back, go back. 
Oh my god, this it's something's one thing that needs to be changed. One thing. Got it. What do you mean, what am I doing? I just did it. I just did it. I just did it. It's all of Daddy's things, and I feel quite pleased with my haul. And me as well. Oh, I'm in such a good mood, I'm almost feeling feelings again. Here's a brother, how pedestrian. And oh, please don't tell any of the servants. They'll start asking me for silver dollars or whatever they eat these days. I guess we should thank you, Ben Stripes, and tell you what you want to know about the event. We won't. The reward is our smiling snoots. Now get out of our car before we ring the police. Ooh. I've been doing that. Why am I doing that? I'm going like... Okay, well that was cool. I still haven't pissed. Let's do that now. I'm gonna piss. I'll be right back.
Hallo. So. Will you... Uh, whatever. Yeah, I refilled my drink. I was getting a little dry. Probably adding honey to his mint green tea. No, good. <clears throat> Matcha powder. All right, let's go. Hi. There's a lot of first-time chatters on this stream. Is it really? What's going on? How are you? Welcome! Uh, actually, hi. Is there really a lot of people that are new? Who's chilling? This is a chill stream. Just playing later alligator. I'll be live tomorrow, too. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Maybe we'll figure it out in pre-stream. Play webbed or something. Or... What's, what's, what's come out? What's, what's new? Did anything come out recently? Star child, I can feel your energy from over here. I'd say that's what's harshing my whole thing right now. Play Rogue Legacy 2? You good? In a lot of Rogue Legacy 2. Is, is, it, is it a good game? Hmm. What about infomercials this week? Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe. <clears throat> see solid all right well let's let's keep going with this i say it's what's harshing my whole thing right now but the truth is i i i recycled some really gnarly bagels for lunch today out of the dumpster behind the furniture store my mellow has been thoroughly pre-harshed now why would there be bagels in the dumpster of a furniture store oh throw pillows bummer Listen, who among us... Um... What's this? What's the Among Us tune? I don't know. I actually don't know it. Uh, who among us hasn't woken up at noon in a van under a blanket felted equally from Stranger Lint and Candy Wrappers? It's no wonder I got into the wrong dumpster. If anything, it's fate. You going to the bar? Are you going to the birthday party? Tonight? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I really can't tell you much. I've been sworn to secrecy. You know, Pat. You say Pat? He's a pretty cool guy. Kind of dresses like a preschooler, though, if I'm being real. He's... My little sister, Lizzie, is dating his cousin. So I guess you could say we're kind of like family. You can say anything to strangers, really. No one can stop you. I'm Aiden. It's totally chill to meet you. Dot com. Dot org. I sort of knew someone would seek me out today. I'm like a bit of a clairvoyant, according to some sub forums I visit online. Plus, I own a somewhat unsettling amount of powerful crystals. Their potent energies course through me in my inner core. Which is great, since I spent the last of my dosh on some suspiciously expensive crystals. My inner core is super starving, man. All right, what do I have to do for you? I could actually, like, probably tell you a few things if you do me a solid first. You see, those suspiciously expensive crystals I mentioned earlier... <gasps> well, those little mamas were also suspiciously powerful. From just three nights of holding them, even when I had to get up to pee, I feel mystically charged enough to access my innermost self. <gasps> but in my tireless questing through the crystal concentration arts, I just don't have the time to shower. Or dust my pewter miniatures. Besides, bathing is a way for the man to keep us down. You should be sliding across the floor on an oil slick of your own creation like nature intended. Ugh. My aromatic scent keeps away a lot of unwanted company, like solicitors and my father. But did invite others. Talking about flies, these little buzzing buzzkills keep harshing my mellow. Hmm. They're making it impossible for me to concentrate on my inner light to do 
get inner right, if you know what I mean. If you could just swat them away from me while I'm getting my medi medication, my meditation on, I'd be happy to do you a solid in return. Will you be my spotter swatter? Let's go. Click on flies and hornets to attack them with the fly swatter. Hornets take extra hits. Don't spot butterflies or Aiden. Alright, let's see. See, Dad, I do have friends. Oops, that was a butterfly. That's double. Uh, it's happening. The sub forums are right. I have to keep going. These are loud. Shit. Like hitting you right in the face with a fly swatter? I'm feeling the cosmos and I pick up Wi Fi. Keep going, I'm almost there. That's kind of hard, actually. Hurt box is huge, yeah. What time is it right now? Hello, my star child. For crystal channeling and staying modestly, mod, modestly hydrated, like advised on social medias, I've been able to reach my most powerful form. I'm still the Aiden you've known and adored for so, so long, but a new, more powerful Aiden. Payton, as it were. I uh, like how I haven't been paid in weeks. I'm so hungry. Uh, just kidding. I don't feel the human desire for food in my new astral mode. Hey, did you hear an ice cream truck? For no reason. I just like the song the truck plays. It's a real bop. This is a Twitter user? What are you talking about? No, I'm not crying. I can now tell you a bit about the event since I am a being of pure energy and knowledge given form. But also, a being that's, like, extremely good at keeping secrets, man. What little I can tell you is that it concerns Pat for a certain reason. That's really all I can say. I don't want Lizzie to get mad at me for spilling the beans. She's got those angry little sister hands. Even beings of pure, peaceful energy are averse to tiny sister punches. Thank you again for your spiritual guidance. What you have done here today will not soon be forgotten, at least not for the 45 minutes of short-term memory I have. You hear an ice cream truck? No, just go get a fucking ice cream and stop. How is it? Oh shit. The party's at eight. The party's at eight o'clock. We got only like another like, this is pretty much it. Hold on. All Jared. Oh, hey, I didn't see you down there. Can you move about two centimeters to the right? The placement of my eyes is particularly wacky. I'm waiting for a call, but my phone has been pretty dinked up lately. I wonder if it'll even come in. Maybe I should ask the bartender to use the phone here. Oh, that's not going to work since I stored the number I need here. In my broken phone. How did anyone even get by before modern cell phone technology? How did they send each other messages or watch videos about people drinking a gallon of milk and throwing up? I guess I'll just have to write letters now and film myself barfing on VHS. Just like the pilgrims would have. Right. Oh, you going to that too? I tell you more about it, but the sad truth is I jotted down all the deets in my phone here, but the dang thing has been on the fritz for over a week now. I, yeah, the song is good. Pat the alligator, that's my little cousin. 
All my cousins are little to me, even the older ones. Pat, however, is particularly small. Maybe that's why he's so skittish. A guy that tiny could slip into a crack anytime or get lost in a medium-sized mouse hole. Like a borrower or something. Folks call me Tall Jared. I don't really get it, though. Honestly, I'm not even the tallest Jared that I personally know. Yeah, let that info sink in for a little while. I can see your imagination running wild in your extremely visible eyes. Alright. Remember what you would like? Break core. I don't know what that is. What is break core? Ever since I got back from that ghastly mansions of the rich and dead tour I did on my vacation, what's really ghastly is the distribution of wealth among the populace. And the dedulous. Sigh, I don't know what I'm going to do. My phone is my life, literally. I don't have a rich inner existence or anything. It's mostly all saved on here in the form of a dream journal and pictures of good breakfasts I've had. I don't know how much of a tech person you are, but do you think you could take a look? This phone... It's okay. Fix his cell phone? What is break core? What is break core? Look up Pac-Man? Hold on. This is like, no, I can type this, right? Okay, break, somebody said break core Pac-Man? Wait, what am I putting on? Break core Pac-Man. I'll, I'll give it a try. Oh no. Oh my god. I- I don't- where is it? I can't find- Just go to YouTube? Just break core... Pac-Man? This is- this one's- this one's called The Prophet. Pac-Man. This one? Welcome to the golden age of video is this the one you're talking about? Not this one. Which one? Any break core. It doesn't matter. Oh, just break core. Why'd you want me to look up Pac-Man? This thing says cure for ADHD. What? This is a journey into sound. A journey which along the way will... This one? ...will bring to you new color... New dimension, new values, and a new experience. Stereo Let's see if it works. So our journey takes us into the field of... This is, was, was this going to work? Four, three, two, Let's see if it works. That was like, what was that? This is crazy. I feel like I feel like there's a counter on the top right of the screen, and it's at like one minute left in an old video game, and I have to hurry the fuck up and get to the end. This is crazy! Wow, this is crazy! What the fuck was that? Was a slap chop guy? Go! Go! <laughs> this is like the only way you can listen to this music! This is, like the, this is the only way you can listen to this music. There's no other way to listen to that. There's only one way to listen to this music, and it's like this. 
played at a club, disco, lounge, house, basement, or block party. <laughs> like I'm downloading all of the world's knowledge in one second. Like I'm downloading all of human history. <laughs> they, uh, they was, they were the dinosaurs. I just okay. They, I just saw the the. the, 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 the I can't even talk. I can't even talk. I'm downloading. It's like Matrix. I'm gonna be able. I'm gonna to, like fly out. Okay, turn it off. That was insane. There's other ones. What, what if I skip forward a little? Whoa! I feel, whoa! <laughs> this is like no. This is all right. There you go. You ready? Ready for this shit? This is like you, you like oh, like mom comes in the room. This is all mom sees. <laughs> like you're at your computer. Let me see if I can line this up right. Like this is the kind of music where it's just like, whoa, you're getting you're getting way too into that. I mean, you're too close here. I, I got it. I got you. <laughs> you're really locked in here, and you don't know that anyone's in the room. And this person could literally just be in the room. It could be like your mom or like a sibling. And somebody could literally just be like, hey, like, you you ready for dinner? And this is all they see in here, like uh, kind of in through your headphones. And this, this, uh, it's going to take, they're going to have to go like, go like this to your desk. Like imagine opening the door and you just see this. Like you, I, you can't get a hold of me. You're never gonna get a hold of me. Put on a different one. That looks bad. What? What do you mean stop? What? <laughs> that music. No, no, I don't mean that. Like, you don't come into the room and he's, he's sitting there listening to that. Oh. All right, whatever. <laughs> what did I miss? Uh, you didn't miss anything. Uh, all I did was I was blasting a cure for ADHD. And I just wanted to make it whatever. This is wild, though. This is actually wild. It's so ridiculous. I feel like after listening to this for like more than two or three minutes, I would just probably go like this. Like... Ah! It's like screaming! Put on... What, what is this one? That was intense! Well, I, I it's, it, that was like really intense. That was crazy. Parents walk in to sun to break core, <laughs> circuit it to break core. Do his break core listening party. <laughs> break core is so good. All right, what is this one? This one's like kind of a scary album cover. What's this one? He's right. I am a murderer. But until six months ago. This one? I was just an ordinary high school girl. What what song should I put on? Do you remember what we promised? You're opening my eyes. I've never heard this before. We're not going to lose anyone else. Which one? This is royalty in Breakcore. Is there a certain song? There's a lot of songs here. I've seen a lot of recommendations here.
All right, how about like this one's called Ghost. Is this DMCA? I, is it? All right. Is DMCA? Uh All right, it's pretty sick. All right. I can see it. All right, I don't want to... Oh. Oh. Oh, all right. This is a... <laughs> Let's fucking play the goddamn game. Let's play the game. Where's this? Where's the? <laughs> Fuck! It's stuck in my head forever. <laughs> this is the crazy part, right? But like, if you if you open the door, and whoever's in there can't fucking hear you. But it's time for dinner. Like, how are you going to get their attention? You got like calling them? Maybe like a Discord message, right? You're gonna like, you're gonna have to go through Discord and like, hopefully they go, who's up? You have to go shake them. I don't even think that would work. Flip the lights on and off. I don't even think that would even work. Like. You're moving so much that, like, you like shaking them is like they're, they're, just, they're not gonna even know. You just throw something at them. <laughs> like, like frisbee something into the room. And it's like, like frisbees in and like. Stop stalling. We're not stalling. Stalling, stalling. All these stalling Andes. Okay. No, no, no. You know what that is? That's just all the hardest difficulty on Dance Dance Revolution. That's the one where you see the people that are standing with their arms holding the... They're holding the bar like this behind them. And they're just like, like just their feet are fucking going crazy, and you walk by and you're just like, shit, wow, how are they even doing that? It's impossible. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, you know, I my brain's just too small to like be able to do any of that stuff. They look like they're having a great time. That was pretty cool though. I, I'll, I'll I'll watch it off stream. I'll listen to it off stream. I'm, I'm very intrigued. I've never heard of this before. Okay, let's fix the phone. I've never heard of this before. All right, we have to fix his phone? And my notes are pretty personal. Oh, dream journal. I was in the woods and I was running on all fours and there was a monster chasing me. I'm at school and everyone's making fun of me because I forgot all math. I'm hungry. I'm looking at myself in the mirror and accept my father is looking back at me. He turns into sand and now I'm holding two hams. I have fish hands and it's best dream ever. <laughs> You're violating this guy's privacy. <laughs> I have to fix his phone. Era, see, I told you my phone was acting up. Error code 09590. A ghost. Alright, grocery list. First, rices, large ham, muffins, paper towels, cleaning spray, dirtying spray, good breakfast, sandwich bread, deep nut butter, small ham. It's really good workout music. I feel like that's the kind of music I would I would keep doing reps. I wouldn't stop. I would just keep going. I'd be like that was ten. 
Fuck, we're doing, we're doing 40. And you'd get to like 35 and have to go home. You know what I mean? I'd be like, ah, I gotta go home now. Go to breakfast. Okay, I'm not working on a video game. I just thought these would be some cool ideas. Spooky game about three kids in a bad summer camp. Cute game about a sweet knight who gets to escort four hot princes down a mountain. Stupid mystery game about alligators in the city. Too much work. Dramatic game about mecha pilots fighting over the fate of humanity and kissing. Okay, what else we got? Video time. When I get really stressed, I watch soothing videos. It calms me. Alligator sensory meridian response? Okay. Uh, what about when train? Third, this is the third train schedule app I've tried, but I'm still late all the time. Okay. Pictures. You're gonna look through my photos? Should I... Okay, no, I'm sure there's nothing. Too embarrassing in there. You wanna look first? That's my little sib. Joni. I caught them on candid camera. Like food? Uh, other... You look at that handsome fella. I give myself compliments every day. It's like a workout for your self-esteem. Oh. Huh. Wait, look at it. When I found a, 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 a cute cafe. What was that? Did you do that with my phone? Turn off the flash, Jared. Well, I would if I knew how. Save my photo. All right. My vacation pics. Hope you're ready to relive some memories of me. Hey, my phone started acting up after we went to this weird house. Oh, it's this one. Delete that one. Got it. Got it. That was definitely strange. All right, you gotta. I gotta delete all the ghost pictures. It was nice being so close to the mountains. All right, we got all the ghost pictures. Is there a ghost in this one? No. Which one did I delete? Obso Wait, what is that? Isn't this a form of anime? It's from an anime. Don't mess with this folder. I have a lot of pics that I really hate to lose. It's not the the camaraderie is important to me. Gulp. Oh, is that? Oh, oh, excuse me. Is that, that wouldn't happen to me. Uh, Goku, would it? He's just so cool. Okay, well, I don't care about this. Is whatever. Screenshots. This code does something cool. Do you have a way to scan it? I'm, I'm fucking scanning it. I don't know what that does. Scan it. I'm not scanning it. I don't scan QR codes. I don't know. I don't scan QR codes. No, they, they freaked me out. Coward. I don't scan QR codes. They freak me out. Pictures. All right. Internet splunker. I want to scan it. No, don't scan it. Who knows what it is? It could be anything. We'll scan it. What is it? Scan the code. I... I don't scan QR codes. You're scared of ovens, gas, and QR codes. Why don't you do it? It's too, it's too, like, algorithmic to me. It's like, I don't know, it's too, it's like too much, it's like data. I don't know, I don't like it. I don't know, that's weird. Put it on screen again. How oh, I, um, there. What is it? It's literally just a barcode. I know, but it's, it's weird. Like, why does that do anything? Why does this do anything? What kind of alien technology? If you guys think don't think that we have alien technology, that's alien technology. You can you can a what? That's a fucking ink blot that has data. That doesn't make any sense. 
Well, it's just, uh, it's like a weird display of like data ink blot, like pixels. Why can that give data? It's strange. It's really strange. Aliens created it. I don't want it anymore. It's a video. Alright, that's fun. I'm not scanning it. Oh! I'm not gonna scan it. What happened to my voice? Alright, what's it like outside? Some people like sunny days, some people like rainy days. I like the forecast when it's just like this. Pretty good. It's pretty good out. 75? Yeah, I'd say like 78 to 85 is good. Okay, what about, like, settings? This screen, this screen isn't helpful at all. What do you think ghost mode is? What's your password? Don't look at my calls. Don't try to call anyone either. It's sort of out of minutes. I only have 22 seconds left and I still want to call my grandma. What's your password? Is it this? I can't type it. I can't type. Recent searches. Breakfast near me, breakfast many pancakes, sleep sounds. What's the best password? Ghost? Going to test the best, most secure password of anything is ghost. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, ghost. Got it. Ghost mode activated. A g g g g ghost? Yes. Okay, now I'm on ghost mode? How am I on ghost mode? Good breakfast. I am hungry for a good breakfast. Okay. Alright, what about like breakfast places? Don't delete that one. Ghost mode. No. No. No ghosts here. No ghosts here. Let's see a ghost there. Ghost. No ghost. No ghost there. Dude, what? No ghost. No ghost. I don't see a ghost. Whoa! You deleted the mom and dad photo? No, I didn't. Where did my handsome swimming boys go? No, this is a nightmare. Get rid of it. Oh, God. Next time I go on vacation, it'll be something safe like go-karting or at a nude beach. No more creepy old mansions with the dark legacies contaminated by the vengeful souls that reside within, I swear it. So I did it, right? That was terrifying. Can I have my phone back? Yeah! There you go. Why Why are you assuming that that was his parents? Did you know that? Was, was the information there that those were his parents? Parents? You didn't say that. You didn't say that. Well, he wasn't listening. I was no, I was too busy fixing somebody's phone using telecommunications intelligence to do it. I was literally fixing his phone. Stop talking to me while I'm trying to fix your phone. Oh no, my photos. So many memories all gone. At least you got the haunted ones, I guess. Nice to have a functioning phone again. It's like I'm reconnected to society. Take that. Actually looking people in the eye and talking to them directly. Thanks, random stranger. Or should I say random friend? 
He deleted all of his personal photos. I don't know, there could have been a ghost! <laughs> Caterer for the event. A lot of work since the family is practically made of food allergies and intolerances, but I'll manage. Thanks so much for all your help, I'll see you tonight. By the way, can you have wheat? Not sure, actually. Hey, city pal. I was just wondering, since we've been texting a bunch. Um, have you heard of 9th Street Station at all? No. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't think so. So, uh, well, it's been closed for a few years. Not a lot going on there since then. Still got some of the most beautiful architecture of all the underground shops in the city. I'd really like to go there, actually. I was just thinking, um, if you ever wanted to stop by there, maybe I could meet you. No pressure or anything. You'd probably have to really help a conductor out to even get access. It's pretty underground. Awful. Okay, I was actually on the floor that time, but I'd fallen unrelated to laughing. Anyway, don't worry about 9th Street. You can forget what I said. If you want. I mean, I feel like I, feel like I write like, like, bro, dot, 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 dot. Like, relax. Bro. Bobby Blue Eyes, what are you staring at, chump? Put those peepers away before I yank them clear out of your skull. Oh, you think you're a tough guy or something? You think you can roll in here in a pinstripe suit, not dissimilar to my own, and share a passing glance with me? Well, you got another thing coming to you, pally, and it ain't nothing good. Around these parts, I'm the toughest guy you're gonna meet. I don't think you can slide into my bar and lock eyes casually with me across the room. You'll be sorry when I pull those babies out and smack them into the into twin yokies. I'll let you guess what the red sauce is, I bet you're not gonna like it. What's at the event? Bobby ain't spilling family secrets. Pat? Oh, that little jabroni's my first cousin once removed. Kinda like how I'm about to remove your eyes, as I previously in the conversation mentioned. <laughs> Three voice. I'm doing it on purpose. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? I'm doing it on purpose. You think the red sauce thing was too far? Maybe it was a bit too far. I'm testing out some new tough guy material tonight, so it's a bit of hit or miss. Eric Cartman. <laughs> oh, the name's Bobby Blue Eyes, and don't you forget it, because he's going to be etched into your tombstone. Oh, wait on your tombstone. It would be your name, wouldn't it, Kyle? My name would be... Hey, just because I got confused about our society rituals, Kyle. It is. Yeah, you're right. Doesn't mean you can look away. We're having a conversation here. Alright, what do you want me to do? Unless you prove you're tough to me, the toughest guy in Alligator New York City. It ain't gonna be easy though, and I'll make sure of that. Let's you and me play a little game called Three Finger Filet. Or are you two chicken? Yeah, let's do it. Carefully watch how Bobby stabs the table. Copy his pattern on your side. Be careful to avoid your fingers. So it looks like you've had a conversation with the Chew Fingers. You ready for this, tough guy? Wow, you did that four times. That's impressive. But how many more times do you think you can pull that off? Well, five times. Let's up the ante bit, shall we? Jesus! Whoa, whoa, what is that? That knife is ter terrific. It's a perfect for a tough guy. Uh, let's keep going.
See ya. Not bad. Got all the way to six. I bet you think you're a real tough guy with those increasingly ludicrous knives you were weirdly having on your persona edge. Check this out. Oh, wait, my fingy. Would you put a band-aid on it, please? Oh, ow, ow, ow. Got a blow on it. Blow on it. <sighs> That's it. I don't want to play tough guys with you no more. You've ruined it by going too far. And now look what happened. I may never play bass guitar again. You're a real tough customer. I'll give you that, Kyle. The event is happening. The happy thing, so leave those preposterous knives at home. Now go. Leave with my band aid and my misery. Oh, ouchie. What time is it? Hey! Are you there? It's Pat. I know we haven't figured out what the family's totally nefarious secret is yet. Well, maybe if we walked there together, I'd feel safer. Is that okay? On my way. All right, here we go. We have to go talk to Majima? I don't know, I, I think I, I beat the game. Did I? Who's that? Fifth William the Fourth. Well, hello, and pleasant evening, my good chum. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh no, I didn't mean to startle you. Not I. <laughs> you see, it is within my very nature. To skulk mysteriously around corners and the like in deft silence. As my mother was a mysterious slipper designer. My father was a mysteriously absent. <laughs> Are we ready for surprise? Here we go. Three, what time is it? Seven o'clock. It's weird too, we're early. Are we early? We're early. Welcome back, esteemed guest. I'm afraid our kitchen is closed early for a closed event in the hotel ballroom tonight. I provided Mr. Pat with some complimentary stale oyster crackers and tap water. If you follow me, I can show you to his room. Pardon me. We begin walking at your leisure. Man, what beautiful wallpaper we have. So rich and distracting. I like the art. The, the, I like the kind of... Reminds me of um, home movies. You're right, please inform Mr. Pat he can't have any more tap waters after you knock. Are you ready to go to the party? Just been guzzling tap waters and stress eating these funny crackers the waiter gave me. Even though I'm not going to wear them, I went and got all my shoes out anyways, I think just for the company. It's scary being in alone in here. Now the event is about to begin, but maybe since you're here, nothing bad will happen. This counts as something bad happening. Do you have a flashlight? Uh, I'm scared of the dark. And a flashlight, but slightly less so. Hey, you found one. Do I look like that one video by Alligator Queen? Hopefully with this we can make it through the corridors of the hotel to the ballroom where the event is safely. Just walk really close to me, okay? We have no way of telling who or what is out in those twisty halls. Oh boy. Hours out, click and hold to guide Pat to the Dark Hotel. Go this way, no. I thought it was a staircase at first. We're good. I'm huge.
A reminder of the inevitable passage of time that will one day consume us all into the infinite. Also, I can't read analog clocks. I didn't think I was gonna really just completely be level with this character, but I get him now. I completely get you, man. Or either that or he's high as fuck. One or the other. So where do I go? Where, how do I go? was a staircase. Okay, I, I was like, I, I thought it was a wall. Oh! He's anything but Marty. That's actually really scary. Is he gonna chase us? Let's go. I'm gonna say right. So it's a weird guy from the uh, train. Did you see it move? I think I saw it move. Is this the weird guy from the train? Or the boss or whatever? There's just something unwholesome about reading graphic novels in the pitch dark sediment of a broken hotel wall. Alright. So this is the wrong way. Silent Hill? Oh, it's the guy from the loading screen. Oh, Mandy. I'd ask what he's doing here, but he's attracted to spotlights. Like a moth that smells like hair gel. I made it. Here we go. Here was a big surprise. It was a birthday party. Happy birthday. Oh, everyone's here. Well, at least the people that I talked to. <laughs> it's just the people. Yeah, it's the people that I that I talked to. That's cute. Look at this! Everyone's here! Everyone's having a good time! What's up, old and moldy? You down for another heist? Sorry to pull you back in the game, but with a cake like this, how can you resist one last score? This is the worst party I've ever been to. It's simply dreadful, even worse than last year's. Even worse than the rap party for the Gucci modeling shoot I did. That's Gucci, adult-sized baby bonnets for strange alligators. Even worse than the release party where they found my ex-boyfriend, the house music DJ, run through with a claymore. Excuse me? I for one wasn't anywhere near there, of course, but how awful. Simply dreadful. Oh, here's the singing alligators. Happy birthday to you. You live in a zoo, you smell like an alligator, and that is unsuspicious and correct. Oh, we already saw you. We gave her the claymore. Oh, that's right. 
Oh, that's because they're sitting across from each other. Alright, what about Grandma? Mercy, it's been a dog's age since I've been to a swinging shindig. You know of any? I'm just kidding. Ha ha ha, mostly. On my way over, I passed that abandoned Miss Doom's home for spooky 1800s children with coughs. And wouldn't you know it, my phone stopped working again. All it does now is sing Ring Around the Rosie in a slow, haunting manner and try to order a stick and hoop with my credit card. So when, when we gotta... Oh, there's more people. Well, Star Child, my interest you in a flyer for my upcoming crystal yoga class? We're going to stand on our heads and really give it to some quartz. There's also going to be free pizza in the dumpster outside Italian Tony's cheese circles. Like, Bellissimo, or whatever. This is, like, happy. Good evening and good morrow, friend. What an auspicious sign that we have crossed paths once more. Perhaps we have some unknown star-designed connection. Or oh, you really want to read about my zine about cool wizards. Check it out, I have a chapter dedicated to Toad Tapicus the Groovy. Hey there. I got worried you guys wouldn't make it on account of the blackout. Pat's scared of the dark. And hallways. And parties, come to think of it. This usually doesn't end as well as this, is what I'm saying. Oh, I'm so proud of my Patrick. He didn't threaten a coat rack shadow with a stapler and jump out a window. Or dump the punch bowl in the toilet thinking it was poison. This is already going so much better than his birthday last year. Oh my god. I'm going to lose my AARP discounts being up this late. They take a hard look at your benefits if you do too much staying up past 8 or rollerblading. I'm not giving up my Tuesdays at Roller World. Tell anyone about what you saw earlier and I'll break your kneecaps into enough pieces that the old maids can play Mahjong. And thanks, pal. Hey, uh, Peter. There, old pally. It's time for an old-fashioned handshake. This is more the snail trail. I'm told it's full of vitamins and helps with drying. And that it comes with my out my limbs and leaves you crying. Oh, hey, where are you going? Uh, only a couple more. Boris and I have come to an understanding of sorts, wherein he remains dead and courteous, and I don't call him a priest or buy any more poisons wholesale. Hey, it's you, Comrade Pinstripes. Good news, pre-orders on my blog for the zine are through the roof. Since five copies are already spoken for, I'm sure to sell out of all seven by the end of the convention. With the word getting out like this, we'll definitely get Mayor Wibbly Finn's resignation within the week. Or at least he might take my petition about planting more trees in Alligator Memorial Park more seriously. He better, or those edited videos of him set to humorous fart sounds and kazoo music aren't going to stop being posted to Snootbook. Hold your local government accountable or they'll get him memeing. I uh, both of them. Sure, whatever. Alright, and of course, our esteemed guest. I'm so happy. I wasn't getting rubbed out, I was getting birthday clout. It's so nice to have my beloved family here with me. We're going to take a big family photo and everything. That means you too, if that's okay. Everything you did for me today, it really meant so much to me. You're a really special friend. I can't thank you enough. Oh, come on. Everything is ready for the photo. Except for you. Follow me. So we're going to see the face. Face reveal. Face reveal. Oh, my God. Definitely this one. Or this one. It's, it's, of course. Who could have forgot me? Alligator Bernie Sanders. I just really wanted to try to bring people together. Is that good? Alright, that's good. <laughs> Why am I in the front?
This is not my birthday party. I should be like back here. Congratulations. That's cute. That was cute. That was really cute. Come on. The game is one, the story ends sweet. But though it seems done, has this all been deceit? What's really going on? Does our tale end right here? The more family you come upon, the more truth will grow clear. That was an actual... That was actually a children's game. Oh, that was an E for everyone game, okay? It was an E for everyone. This is a true ending? You got a 100% the game for a true ending. Do a bread tier list right now or I'm gonna be pissed. Do you have a bread tier list for me to do? Is there a bread tier list that you would like me to do? I'll do it right now. Okay. A bread tier list. It doesn't exist. You unlocked Pat Game Skip. More mysteries await you in Alligator, New York City. Oh, geez. That was really cool. Quick find one. I'm sure it doesn't. It does not exist. Do people actually have one? Do you actually have one? There's a certain character everyone wants me to talk to, so I'm gonna go do that first before everybody uh, yells at me. Where is it? Okay. And one of the mods grabbed one of the uh, uh, links that are not allowed in the channel. The credits were like a who's who of funny web animators. That's cool. Bread types tier list. Okay. Where's this character you guys want me to? Where is it? Where are they? They're in the bar. Where are they in the back? Is that them? Okay. This this of oh, there's so many of these. This one looks fine. Okay. I got I have a bread tier list here. We'll do this first. The knife. Leave me alone as you want a knuckle sandwich. Seriously, do you want it? It was the bar special of the day, but I ain't got the heart to eat it now because uh, nervous guts. Anyway, what do you want? I don't really have time to talk now. I'm waiting for somebody. So maybe they're a no-show. Okay. If you keep pestering me, didn't I tell you I was waiting for someone? Yeah, I know, Pat. Who's asking? Oh, you are. Right, right. Sorry, I'm a little socially anxious right now. Basically all the time. I've known Pat since high school, when the seniors got paired up with a freshman buddy to run the three-legged race. As the gym teacher tied the rope around our legs, Pat flipped out and thought he was being kidnapped. Started running like a maniac down the football field with my gym pants still attached to him. That's how I got my other nickname, Birthmark Butt. Since then, we've been good pals despite it. Love that weird little guy. People call me the knife on account of my design containing sharp edges and how I poked my eye out in a freak jack-o'-lantern carving accident back in the fourth grade. In case I'll cut you. Out of extracurriculars if I catch you in the hall without a pass. I'm a guidance counselor for Miss Petty Snoot's school for snobby and gifted middle schoolers. My nickname is just there to scare the preteens, to be honest. Alright, what do they, what do you what do you want me to do? I gotta be honest with you, I ain't really waiting for nobody. I'm just here at the bar to practice being casual and meeting other folks. You know, in a romantical-like manner. But I always seem to say the wrong thing and scare the other gators off. How was I supposed to know complimenting someone's bulging neck veins was weird? I have those. They look real cool. Anyways, been between work and my somewhat bad personality, I don't get out much. It's so hard to just meet people in non-weird ways, you know? I wish I could just practice or something. Wait a minute, that ain't a bad idea. If I could just find a buddy to practice dates on, I could be way more ready when the real deal comes along. I know you're only talking to me because Pat set you up on one of his weird wild goose-like chases. 
But I ain't got a lot of friends to tell you the truth, so uh, maybe if you help me practice, I could help you out too. I wanna go on a fake date with a rusty edge like me. Yeah, let's go. Take a lonely lizard out on a practice date. But to decide where to go, what to do, and how you end the evening. Great. How do you feel about a change of setting? Let's head over to my workplace and you can help me out there. Alright. What the fuck? Followed halls of the Alligator International School for Gifted Youths. Kids are on break right now, so it's only us lonely administrators. Me, I'm the lonely one. I need a big favor from you. You see, I have a meet- I have a meet cute tomorrow. And I don't know what to do or say or feel. My friend Karen, who works in the front office, set me up with a friend of hers. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm not usually the blind date type. But she says she's- he's really dreamy. Tall, which I like. And big, which I also like. Broad shoulders. She says he's cool, quiet type. But he has a sense of humor and a big heart. And between you and me, she said he's a real dragon in the Dojima, if you catch my drift. I wonder what she told him about me. Ugh, all this negative thinking is messing with my mojo. You seem like the strong, silent type. And you're cute enough that it intimidates me just a little. Please, you gotta help me practice for my big date. I need a boost of confidence, and I need it now. Yay! I mean, uh, cool, thanks. Karen arranged it all with my date. We're going on an adventure first, then out to dinner, then afterwards. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Laughter. So, um, what kind of adventure would you like to take me on? It's me. I would like to take you to a trip to the beach! Great, let's go. Well, come on, I can't pretend we're going somewhere if we don't go somewhere. The whole school is empty. Don't worry. Hey, the beach is pretty nice this time of year. That's a sweet idea. I know it's not really the beach, we're playing pretend, remember? It's only our first day. I didn't bring a towel or swim trunks for fluid sunscreen. I'd reach, can I take that again? Can I do that take again? Plus, we're going. <laughs> Plus, we're going to dinner later. Am I going to be all sandy at the restaurant? Oh, you're okay with walking along the boardwalk. Well, that's nice. My mystery date probably looks great in swim trunks, though. This is fine, actually. I'm glad we're doing this. It's been a while since I've been on a real date. Like, with an itinerary. Everyone I date these days just wants to watch a TV show on an old couch. Don't get me wrong, I'm above staying in and getting cozy. But I think a first date should be really special, you know? Hmm, what's this? You brought me a present? <laughs> but I didn't bring you anything. Well, that is a change of plan. Old fashioned, but in a nice way. Gimme, gimme. I got you a cute toy. Oh, look at that. Thank you. I'll have to find a nice place to put it. I'm getting a little hungry. Do you mind if we head to the dinner? A reservation! Should I keep going or are people going to hate me? Am I, people going to literally leave the channel forever. Alright, I need a mod uh, to run a poll. Uh, and the polls say, are you going to leave if I keep doing this? So the answer is yes or no. Like, it's just, it's a simple yes or no question. Let me give you a, a quick little taste of what it's gonna be like. A reservation? <gasps> wow, you came prepared! That's what, just a, a quick little taste of what you could expect. That's a quick little just taste about it. Okay. 12% say yes. And dressed to impress, I see. That shirt really brings out your eyes. Was that too much? 
I'm trying to roleplay, but it feels a little silly. You're doing great, though. So where do you want to eat? I heard you were quite the foodie. Somewhere cozy. Hmm, quiet and intimate sounds nice. I now am going to pivot to every old man character in every anime that's ever released. We'll really be able to get to know each other. It's so nice that you have a local place, too. I've been living in this city for five years, and I finally have my coffee place. Oh, yeah, it was a big adjustment. The city is always moving. I was living across the river in Alligator, New Jersey back then. Please don't ask me about those dark times. There definitely weren't any cute snoots in Alligator Hoboken. Not like you. Now we're leaving. <laughs> All right, I will switch back to the protagonist. There definitely weren't any cute snoots in Alligator Hoboken, not like you. Hey, let's head over to the restaurant. Oh, this place is nice. I like that decor isn't too pretentious. So do you come here often? You're so right. <laughs> I barely make it out of the house myself these days. I'm so happy to be here, meeting someone new. Say, hey, now it's your chance. Give me a compliment. You've got perfect team. <laughs> Thanks. You have a nice smile, too. This is me role-playing in awkward silence. Come on. My date's got to be more charming than that. I'm going to pretend you said I was cute and move on. I feel like I can really be myself around you. It's been a while since I've done this. I mean, not a long while. It's just hard for me to meet other alligators. I know a lot of you said no, but I feel like a lot of you actually meant yes. Should I keep going? This is going to literally ruin my career. I think this is going to end the whole... I think this is going to ruin my career. Stop laughing. This is precisely why I wanted to practice. What I'm trying to say, I'm having a really good time with you. If you don't have any plans after dinner, want to come to the Spring Festival with me? I think I'm ruined. I think my career is over. If, double down quick. All right, you're right. Double down. When in doubt, double down. You lived in Alligator, New York City for how long? And you've never been to the East River Spring Festival? Uh, then you have to come with me. There's food, carnival games, and the whole thing ends with a big fireworks show. What do you say we split the check and head over? Flag down the waiter, then. Let's get out of here. Double down, always. Sorry I'm being such a kid. Even when we lived in Alligator, Jersey, my family would drive into the city for the big festival. Thanks for indulging me. As a reward, you get to pick the first thing we do. No, no, I've been coming here since I was little. It's your first time. What looks fun to you? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm literally done because, like, uh, deep. should I triple down? Triple down. Oh, I have to try. I'll triple down. Should I triple down? I'm gonna triple down. Let's play. Car I'll triple down. <clears throat> oh, I love carnival games. Karen told me you were pretty competitive. Not like in a bad way. I'll tell you what. If you win me that big platypus doll, I'll definitely be impressed. A reward with the game first, buddy, and then we'll talk. I was wearing a solid snake. Now, <laughs> oh, what a night. That guy in the beer costume. And all the pretty lights. You know, for a first time, where you really seem to be warming up to the festival. Oh, I'm done. I'm, I'm quit. I quit streaming. I, I, mean, I actually quit streaming. I'm relieved you had fun. You never know. This, I quit streaming. I really wanted you to have a good time. To be honest, I wasn't sure I was even going to come out tonight. I'm doing it my, on my own. A lot of people are scared of me. Would you believe me? It's not like I'm some kind of scary gangster roaming the streets at night, and showing up whenever repeatedly challenging the same person to endless street brawls, while slowly building my reputation as a mad dog who will fight anyone and anything, relentlessly punishing all who stand in the way of my personal goals. Hey, it looks like the fireworks are starting. Come with me. I know the perfect place to watch. I quit streaming. I quit. I literally quit today. what I tell you? The view from here is incredible, right? I had fun tonight. I hope you did too. 
For Karen's sake, I mean. <laughs> she it takes matchmaking really seriously. And she's been hounding me for months to finally meet you. Oh, why am I talking about Karen right now? Come on, Gwen. Just say the right thing. Vod, should I quit? Vod, should I quit stream? All right. I guess what I'm really trying to say here is I'm so glad to meet you. You seem like a great person and I was really cool hanging out with you. We should do this again sometime. Oh god. You should, you should, you should set tubble. I, pa I failed? Okay, let's do a bread tier list. I don't give a shit. I can't put it on here. The fuck? What the fuck? Oh, hold on. I think I got it. There we go. All right. All right, let's do a bread tier list. Look up the ending. I don't true endings. I don't need true ending. That'd have to be true ending. All right, let's get it. Bread tier list. My windows always get so fucked up. Okay. So this is a very important tier list for a lot of you, I think. Um, so I can see it better. All right, I'm gonna, I, I'm quitting this. We don't need to be in here anymore. This is, that game was really cool. I was really like just a chill game. I liked it a lot. All right, bread tier list, I'm ready. Put on Olive Garden music for this? Actually, kind of a fucking good idea. There's a lot on this list. All right, right there. That's where it is. All right, let's make it a little bigger. All right, you guys ready? The quintessential bread tier list. Sourdough's number one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, no it's not. I want that person timed out. I actually want you timed out. Uh, can we make this IRL? I need music though, you're right. Uh, Garden, Olive Garden Music? Olive Garden theme song. Club Remix? <laughs> There's a Club Remix. Why is there a Club Remix of this? This is a, cl a Club Remix. Is this Olive Garden? <laughs> I don't think this is even the Olive Garden. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Bagel. That's a straight up A. Bagel can be used as a sandwich topping. Can be used as a breakfast, as a lunch, as a dinner. You can do bagels and locks. You can do bagels, eggs, and cheese. You can do bagel tuna sandwich. Versatility. Hawaiian roll. Woo, S. Hawaiian roll S. 100%. No fighting me on that one. Hawaiian rolls are S. S.
If you buy a bag of Hawaiian rolls, you better be ready for that bag to be gone within a day. Within one day. They don't last long. You will never take a bag of Hawaiian rolls and turn it like this and go, is that mold? Oh no, there's like eight, there's like, how many slices are in here? One, two, three, four, five. I think that's mold. No, never gonna happen. It's gone every time. Oatmeal bread. Yeah. Mm, okay. Rye bread, uh, it's a D. Unless it's with a Reuben sandwich and then it becomes a B. Brioche, A. Bagels are better. A whole wheat bread is guess it's an F. I fucking hate wheat bread. It sucks. I feel I know. I when anytime anybody says, "Hey, white or wheat," I go, "Bro, white every time." Like I don't like wheat bread. I just don't. It just makes it taste different. It tastes bread to me is texture and a little bit of flavor. Whole wheat bread changes like the flavor of a sandwich. Sure, I don't care. Call me whatever you want. Banana bread, this is uh, very close to S. I'm not sure if I want to put this in S, we're going to put it in A. It depends. This really shitty banana bread and this really great banana bread. There's banana breads that are dog shit. But if you get a moist, a dense, moist banana bread, wow, that's absolute A+. Cornbread is also the same. There's a lot of really shitty cornbread. Dry cornbread. But if you get the real good stuff, this might level up. Maybe. Depends. I think it's... I think so. Cinnamon bread. F. I'm sorry. I just don't like it. I am not a fan of cinnamon. You all know that. Everybody knows that at this point. This channel has been... This channel started with me hating cinnamon. I don't really like cinnamon as a condiment, as a seasoning. I'm not a fan. I actually don't think it belongs... These actually probably both don't belong in F. But... Are people saying quackity? What do we mean quackity? What? Oh, they gifted subs. <laughs> What's up, quackity? Uh, anyways, we're, we're doing good takes here. Croissants. Croissants are an S for flavor, but an F for practicality. Eating a croissant, you have to like vacuum your shirt. What is this song? What is this? Is not Olive Garden? Uh, yeah, when you eat um, croissants, they're delicious, but they you, you literally have to like vacuum your clothes afterwards. So um, hold on, I'll, I'll put it in the right spot. I need um I need some restaurant music. Here we go. There we go. That's more Olive Garden. Okay, uh, croissant is F for um, malleability, where ma ma with mandible ability, whatever it's called. Uh, I would, I'm gonna have to, we're talking flavor only, and I have like a tray underneath that I can catch the croissant uh, crumbles. I'm gonna give it an A. Biscuits. Uh, some biscuits, they're dry as fuck a lot of times, but you know what? I'm gonna have to, people are gonna be mad about this, but I'm gonna give it a B. I already know where this is going, so I need to do this now. I gotta, let's get this out of the way, because uh, people are gonna be mad. English muffins are horrible. English muffins just have a bad taste. I don't like it. I don't really, I really don't like English muffins. English muffins to me taste like somebody made a, like a bagel biscuit, like a biscuit, and they put like a droplet of like artificial bread flavoring on it. It's, a, I don't know, I don't like the taste. It tastes like baby powder. Like when I bite into an English muffin, it's like baby powder. Mmm. Okay, a McDonald's, like, sausage egg McMuffin. Yeah, I'd eat it. That brings it up to, like, here. But I really don't like English muffins. I'm sorry, I just don't. I, I don't... What is it? What is yeast bread? What is that? Yeast bread? Isn't that just bread? I kind of don't really know what that is. So I'm gonna... What, what, what is it? Just bread? Bagels are failed donuts. They're vile creations. A bagel is amazing. A, 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 a bagel is versatile. 
Uh, I'm just gonna, I don't know where to put this, so. Potato bread. Yes. Potato bread is everything I like about white bread, but it's not just default shitty white bread, right? But I like default shitty white bread. Uh, I don't think it's better than Hawaiian roll, but I think potato bread is like, it's, it's like if you want white bread, potato bread is like the, the cool version. I love potato bread, it's fantastic. Oh. Not only does this have cinnamon in it, it has gross raisins too. This is going down here. Cinnamon raisin bread. I'm, I know I'm just not into it. I wait, where's white bread? Let's do it. White bread is like a, like a B. Oh, white bread's like a C. I probably would rather eat white bread than oatmeal bread though. Cause what even, what is oatmeal bread? I don't like cinnamons. I don't like cinnamons like raisin shit. I don't like that. Flatbread is, it's all right. It's good for like little sandwich rolls and everything. Tortilla, flour tortilla. Is corn tortilla on here? Well, that wouldn't be bread, would it? Okay, but this is us. I love tortilla. A good flour tortilla. Cook it on the, on the stove. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, absolutely. So good. So good. Sourdough. Oh, uh, sourdough is, you know, it's, uh, I would say it's like kind of reminds me of, um, like biting into something that like, uh... <laughs> you know, I don't like sourdough bread. Here's why. That's why. Every piece of sourdough I've ever had goes like that. Oh, oh, sourdough. Oh my God, so fresh. Mmm, mmm. I can feel it in my mouth. I have to bite down hard. No. The sourdough flavor is is up here. I'm willing to forgive sourdough for being like tough and chewy. Plus two, it still fucks though. I, why are you fucking bread? What are you talking about? Uh, it's, I'd say it's, I'm gonna give it a B. I think it tastes good. I, it's better than white bread. Garlic bread, oh, garlic bread. Garlic bread's, but that's your meme answer though. Do I really think garlic bread's better than like banana bread? Okay, is garlic bread better than cornbread? I don't think so. I, I mean, I love garlic bread, but what I was it, is it better than like a good moist banana bread? Probably not. Or a good bagel? Like a fresh bagel. God, if you get a fresh bagel from like a bagel factory, one of those like bagel factories uh, restaurants where they make the bagels there and they're fresh and you get it hot right in the morning. I think it's better. I do. French bread is in the same category as croissant. It's another bread that when you take a bite out of it, you need like a little dirt devil to vacuum your like crotch. Uh, because it just gets everywhere, but it's fucking unbelievable. I think it's better than croissant. I think it's better than brioche too. French bread just like is garlic bread just with stuff on it. So I, where, where does it, does it really matter where it goes? Whole grain bread is at the very bottom. I would rather eat cinnamon raisin bread off the ground than eat a piece of whole grain bread. It's awful. I know. Oh, you're like, you have like a 10 year old's palate. Whole grain bread sucks and everybody knows it. You don't bite into whole, like all like the weird like nuts and shit and like the, 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 the plastic tasting things. It's like the big chunks of like grains and like little like seeds on it. It's like, oh, it's like, it's like bird food to me. It's like bird seed all over it. I don't like it. It's got bird seed all over it. I don't like whole grain bread. I think it's bad. 
Pretzel bread is, uh, is up here. Yes. In fact, pretzel bread is better than Hawaiian rolls. I might come back to that in a minute. I might come back to this in just a moment. But I, pretzel bread could be the best thing in the world. Bread-wise, I think. Yep. We'll see. I can change it if I need to. Well, uh, uh, okay, potato bread is not a 10-year-old palate. That's like pretty sophisticated. Hawaiian rolls, that's a sophisticated palate. Pita bread's pretty good. Uh, I think it's like a B. I love uh, Euros. Uh, so pita bread's usually pretty fantastic. This with uh, hummus is fantastic. I don't think I would put it up here though. I mean, breadsticks are fine, but they're fine. I like breadsticks. I don't think they're better than like a croissant. Actually, yeah. I probably okay. Do I would I rather have a breadstick or a pita bread? Probably breadstick. I might have to re-evaluate uh, this in a minute, in a little bit here. We'll see. All right, this is the bread from Outback. We know where that's going up here somewhere. But okay, pumpernickel bread and croissants are the exact same in my brain. I need to be in the mood to eat a croissant. I don't just like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll have a croissant today. That's be a reason why I get it, why I eat it. Upper nickel is like, I, I have to have, a, like, I have reason to eat it. I don't go to the store and go, like, oh, yeah, yeah, where's the pumpernickel bread? No, I usually get, like, potato bread, or the stick of white bread, or even a wheat bread sometimes. It's the bread from Outback. Yeah, it is good. That's why it's an A. It's up in A tier. What are you talking about? Outback bread is white bread painted brown. Is it really? No, it's not. What is the bread from Outback? It's not pumpernickel? What is the bread at Outback? What is the bread at Outback made out of? Honey and molasses wheat bread roll. But no, wheat bread sucks. It, but, okay, wait, that's a honey and molasses. Honey and molasses wheat bread roll. Not just generic ass wheat bread. No, they're both going down here. Fuck them both. Yeah, fuck them both. Who cares? Uh, naan is up at A. High A. To me, a naan is like a pita bread, but uh, like evolved. Pita bread's like the, the squirtle. And naan is like the squirrel mo, whatever the name, whatever his name is, whatever. Naan is just like kind of upgraded pita bread. I don't think it's better than garlic bread. It actually might be. Maybe. Pumpernickel. I, I like pumpernickel. Why is it down here? It's definitely like up here. It'd be. Zucchini bread? I don't know. That's some TikTok shit. I don't want it. Butter bread and butter bread. What is it? What are these? I, I don't think I've had these before. I, I don't think I've eaten butter bread. I don't think I've had it. Where would I have eaten this? My grandmother makes zucchini bread, dude. That's not TikTok shit. If it, I don't know, it's zucchini bread? Like, I've been... The Chick-fil-A minis are butter bread. I don't, I don't, I can't think about, I can't remember what it, like, tastes like. What it is like, right? Alright, let me make sure this is correct. Pretzel bread, yep. Wine roll, this is tough. Yeah, this is right. I think my S tier is right. A good fresh French roll, though. God. Damn it, it's good. Um, I'm trying to think of like biting into like a moist, delicious 
Just savory. This aromatic piece of banana bread. You know what I mean? The kind of bread where you can go like this with the bread, squish it, and you let go, and it does not come back to form factor. It's squished. It's fucking squished. Oh. I changed my mind. No. Cornbread or flour tortilla? I feel like brioche is just better than most of these. Somehow. Right? But I don't know. I love bagels so much. I could eat bagels breakfast, breakfast, lunch. Why can't I say the K in breakfast? I could eat a bagel breakfast, lunch, and dinner and be happy about it. Here's the exact same tier list from a year and a half ago that you did. What? Are you serious? I did this already? This is my list? I did this already? So what does it look like? Oh, someone's got a screenshot. Here we go. Wait, hold on. I need to compare. Let's compare it. It's pretty fucking close, guys. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. It's close, man. Hold on. If I were to stop this right now, right? Let's, let's overlay it. Yo, this is pretty much the same. This is pretty good. What is mi what's 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 not up here? Rasan is up at S now. Potato bread, potato bread, pretzel bread, pretzel bread, croissant. I must have had a shitty croissant. I must have had a shitty croissant. Uh, you know, at some point over the last two years, I probably bit into a croissant and went, fuck. And got pissed. I'm some. I'm, that probably that's, that is what happened. Banana bread. Yeah, I must have had a really moist banana bread biscuit. Biscuits. Whoa! It took a took a nose dive here. Pita bread took a dive. Nan, flat bread took a dive. Cornbread evolved. White bread kind of jumped up. Oatmeal bread. Okay, but yeah, but remember, I, b b all these things that are in D. I was afraid to piss off like the bread Andes in chat, right? So I couldn't make them F. Where's garlic bread on this? Wow, garlic bread was a fucking C. I stand by my list. You did this exact same list already. I'm yeah, you know, I'm kind of curious. What are some of the? Was, I did a fast food one. Are my tastes kind of the same? You were wearing the same shirt. I was? No, I wasn't. You just did the fast food. What's another one that I've done? Uh, like, a, what's some of the popular ones? It's like candy, soda, chips and stuff, right? Wait, what's, what's one that I haven't done in a while that I have done to see if I, because I don't remember, I don't remember anything. Cheeses. Baby food? You did fruits before? Pumpkin bread? I don't like it. You did the same grin. You didn't do cookie run characters yet. All right, so should I? What's what's another one? That this is done. I'm I'm, I'm happy with this. Should I do like soda, candy? Is there a good candy one? I've been eating a shitload of candy lately. Should I do a candy or something? What do you think? I've been eating a lot of candy. I've been really into candy lately. 
Do alcohol? I could do that. I don't even need a tier list. Vodka, S. Everything else fucking like F. Besides like whiskey at like an A. Beer, F. Wine, like A. There you go. Is there a good candy one? You did candy in 2020. Okay, so it's been about two years. I don't remember what I did. So is there a good candy one? Give me a good candy one. EF2 unusual hats. I don't even know. I, guys, I've seen like three unusual hats my whole life. Have you eaten much candy since then? Yeah, I think so. There's a candy tier list right here. Let's check it out. Vodka is that? Yeah, because vodka goes with like almost everything. That's the only reason why. I like whiskey too, but vodka is like easier for me to drink. If I, I don't really drink that much hard alcohol. Usually it's just a wine or like champagne or something, right? Okay, candy. Oh, uh, let me put it on here. Fuck, oh. Okay. I said, how long is this? Is it gonna take like an hour? This is gonna take like a fucking hour, isn't it? Uh, this this doesn't this doesn't feel complete. Is this complete? What do you guys think? Is there more on here that should be on here? No, this, this looks pretty complete. Is this the same one that I did? I think this looks, looks kind of complete. What's it missing? Looks pretty good. Looks good. Okay. Let's start at the with the easy stuff that I know. Um Reese's PCs are an A. Although eating more than like what this what's touching my leg? What the like, honest to god, there was like a fucking thing on my leg. What was that? Okay, uh, Reese's Pieces are pretty good. I would say they're A. I would say Twizzlers are uh, D or F. Uh, D is fine, we can use it as F. Twizzlers are gross. Uh, there's only one kind of Twizzler I like, and it's the ones where you peel you peel the Twizzlers. Those are pretty good. Bazooka Gum, uh, if you can find one that uh, isn't as hard as a rock, that's I'd say that's pretty solid B. A hundred grand. I remember the commercials where they'd say, what would you do with a hundred grand? Oh, I'd eat it. So that gets a B for a like, funny commercial? No, it doesn't. Let's just get this out of the way. Uh, Reese's are the best candy. Reese's are the best candy. There's no... I don't, honestly, I don't think there's any argument to be made. It really isn't. No, I don't... I, th there is no argument to make. It's the best candy. It's the best chocolate candy. You know what else? I'm gonna give Reese a little bit of credit here. They also haven't changed shit. There's been no new recipe for Reese's. It's the same goddamn shit it was like 50 years ago. Think about it. Remember, think about the things that you think about that go like, Oh man, remember back in the 90s when like it tasted better and they used like fucking whatever? It's the same. This has not changed in like fucking 40 years. Sour Patch Kids. Nah, I don't like these. There, are, you, I like eating like one or two of them. I like them, but I just I, I only want like two. I really only want like two. I'll keep it in B for now. Yeah, I know they're good. I like them, but I, I just don't I don't want to eat like a whole bag. Bubble tape is A. If you can find it. It's amazing. Although it does have like the weird like baby powder shit on it. I'll, I'll keep it here for now. I love it though. Uh, sweet tarts. Are these the, yep, those are S. Absolutely 100%. Sweet tarts are so delicious. They're so yummy. 
I can put it, I can eat a sweet tart, and it's the same exact thing. Sweet tarts are Sour Patch Kids, but good. Sweet tarts are, so, are like Sour Candy, Sour Patch Kids. They're just like a better version in my brain than a, than a Sour Patch Kid. I just feel that way. Fun Dip is also kind of... I can only do it once or twice. It's good, but I don't, I don't know. I'll keep it a B for now. Um... Mike and Ike's. I I don't. I, there's just no reason to eat them. Original Tootsie Rolls. These are, eh? They're up. They're not. I don't know. They're kind of just. Bleh. Heath Bar, is like a C or a B, but if it's part of ice cream, it's S. Like, Heath Bar Crunch Ice Cream, S plus. I'd say it's probably. I'm gonna give it a high B. I like it. Warheads again. Like I just like sweet tarts better. I don't. I don't know. They're good, but you can. You only eat one. After you eat more than one, it's like you're gonna fucking. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. They're, I'll put it in C. Kit Kats are up high. Number around A. I'll fix it. Andy's mints S. S plus. Tried and true for like five hundred years. I may have changed my opinion on this. I don't remember what I gave this like two or three years ago. But Andy's mints have been tried and true, delicious, perfect. It's a perfect serving size. You only need like one of them. One or two. Just one or two. That's it. And it's completely satisfying. It's a perfect combination of chocolate, mint. It's perfect. It's S. In fact, now that I know what's right next to sweet tarts here, this is A. This is only for the most prestigious candy. And Andy's are up there. As, as, but probably, you know what? No. How dare you. Even. Get your, get your hand away from there. How dare you. I like just reached. I just got like slapped by like mom going to get like the food. Okay. Three Musketeers. I'm going to shock a lot of you with this one. This is a high A. The fluffy. The fluffy nougat in the middle. Oh, it's so good. So fluffy and so like just, just puffy and fluffy. So yummy. So good. I love it. A plus. It's literally air. What are these? Are these are these what are these? Gummies? What are those? These are Swedish fish? They are Swedish fish, aren't they? F. I don't get this. I don't think I ever will. I don't understand why people like these. I don't I really don't like them at all. They're just like kind of slimy and like chewy. I don't get it. I just I honestly just don't get it. I know that that's the worst take I've had. But man, these are just not good. I just this is not good. Mm -mm. They're Rudy. Yeah, but like I would rather just have gummy bears. The Haribo gummy are the Haribo gummy bears on here? Because those they're just a way better version of these. Like a hundred times better. I mean like one hundred times better. It's like the same thing. In my head. Are they on there they are, yeah. Yeah, Haribo gummy bears are wait, are these are big ones. I'm gonna take these as just like the little ones. These are perfect. Yeah, these are like A. These are great. Yeah, God, uh, Swedish fish, you chew. You chew them up, and then after like 10 to 20 minutes, you realize that you have this like, like weird, like red, like cement paste that's aligning all of your gums. And it's like... No, I don't know. I don't like it. I, I don't think there's any list that you'll ever see that has peeps higher than an F or D. If somebody genuinely had peeps up here, I'm 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 a little concerned. I think I'm concerned about them. I don't think anybody puts these up here. I could see how people could put them like here, but an S, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. How would that be possible? No. I don't think anybody puts them up there. 
Peeps are A. Yeah, but not S. If you put peeps in S tier. I don't know about that. Dots F. Okay, all you Swedish fish Andes. What's the difference between dots and fish besides the squished mold that is the fish mold for the candy? What's the difference? I explain. You all say dots are the worst candy. Everybody knows dots is the worst candy. But Swedish fish are just like flattened out dots. Huh? The shape is important. Do you like dinosaur chicken nuggets more than regular chicken nuggets? What are you talking about? <laughs> yes. These also suck. They just, it's a, just, it takes forever. I don't, it's, I don't get the appeal. They're better than peeps. No, they're not. Actually, I'd rather eat a peep. It's just, no. I, I... Who is going to spit this shit out and eat it later? Do you rinse it under the sink? After you suck on this thing for like three hours, do you spit it out and like rinse it under the sink and put it in like a bag? I don't know. Twix. That's going up here. I've had Twix before that were really like pillowy and delicious. But I have to be honest, I've had Twix before that were kind of stale. They like the, it's just something, something's off. You know what I mean? Something's off. I've had that experience a few times. Razzlers? Holy shit. I just, I gotta remember these being good. Sweet tarts, they're on the same level. This is the candy necklace? That's up there too. Pretty like a high B. York Peppermint Patties? That's up there too. These are phenomenal. It's that perfect like ice. Like, okay, I think of the, I think of a commercial. When you bite into a York Peppermint Patty and it's like... I, I hear that. I hear like a... And I think of like snow being around me. It's perfect. Airheads are alright. They're... I don't know if I put airheads. Maybe I'd put them like here. I don't think I would rather. I'd rather have a Kit Kat than an airhead. I'm way more chocolate oriented than I am like sweet, fruit, sugary kind of oriented. Look at this list. With the exception of like sweet tarts, like most of my stuff up here is like chocolate mint, chocolate, 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 chocolate. I, 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 it's all right. It's all right. I like it. I don't know, why is this even on here? I don't even know what a Baby Ruth tastes like. I just know there's a shitload of peanuts, so I don't I don't think I've had it. Uh, Lifesavers are pretty good. I actually, it's not on here, I don't think, but I prefer the, like, mint, spearmint Lifesavers over the fruity ones. Can I pretend that these are the mint ones? You know, talk about the little individually packaged... Um, mint spearmint ones. Oh, those are amazing. This is so good. The mint ones are better. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend these are the mint ones. This is, okay, this is that candy that's in that group of candy that's at every gas station. That's in the bags, and it's like just all the weird oddity-like circus shit. Right? There's all this, uh, the gas station has this one row of just like with these weird bag candies. And I'm, I'm not a big fan. Circus peanuts. Yeah, circus peanuts are okay. They're, I actually kind of like eating one and going like, yeah, I remember that's what that is. And then I never eat another one ever again. I don't think they're just, they, they don't belong down here. Hmm, okay. Just general Hershey's bar. I mean, it's part of one of my favorite desserts ever, which is s'mores. But by itself, I I mean, there's, there's other things I would rather have. A Hershey bar is fine. It's fine. But if you have Kit Kat available that's at the, on the same rack, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Kit Kat. If you have three musketeers, 
and Hershey's right next to each other, I'm never going to take the Hershey bar, ever. But if you were like, hey man, do you want some uh, chocolate? I got Hershey's. I'd be like, yeah, sure, that's fine. That sounds good. That sounds fine. But I don't think, it's probably C. Um, hot, hot tamales, this is like the hot uh, cinnamon candy. I'd actually probably rather eat this than candy corn. Cinnamon, like, can't, no thanks. Mm -mm. S'mores are the only place Hershey's are good. Yeah. I mean, you're right, but it's one of the reasons why it's so good, right? What are these? Are these, oh, the, are these nerds? S. Nerds are S. And again, another reason why, you're probably seeing a pattern up here. The nerds formula has never changed. It's, it's the same formula it's been since like a 19 fucking 100. Since like 1830 or whatever, when these were invented, they have never changed. They've been exactly the same. And they're really good. They're gross. I, th I like them. I think they're good. Ring pop is fine. I probably put it over here. It's just like a lollipop, whatever. It's just it's a lollipop that's shaped in an interesting way. They're okay. Fireball, again, gross cinnamon candy. That's like just hot, like cinnamon fireball kind of, you know, no, no, thank you. Uh Milky Way is just three musketeer, but way worse. But it's not that bad. It's good. It's just not it doesn't even not even come close to me. Doesn't even come close. Three Musketeers are just like kind of like a whipped up kind of fluffy version and it's way better. Hmm. Is Pocky... Is that Pocky? No, these are candy cigarettes. Okay, these are gross. These are actually really gross. Have you ever eaten a candy cigarette? It kind of reminds me of, like, what plaster would taste like. I think it, I, you know, I know, no thanks. Pixie sticks, these are alright. I'm gonna put pixie sticks next to fun dip because they're literally the exact same thing. There is no difference besides a stick that you lick. Nothing else is different. I would eat it though. Some of these are going to be hard to place. I would say Starburst is S, but I don't know. They kind of fell off for me. They kind of fell way down. Yeah, they fell way down for me. I don't know why. Something about it. Something, I think, I, uh, something about it. It's not really, I don't really care. Uh, Smiters are, are great. I actually really enjoy these. Is it A though? It's probably B. These are the same to me. I would put Smarties, Andy Necklace, and Pez right next to each other. They're in the same like genre of video game kind of candy. You know what I mean? They're in the same exact genre. Where's Pez? There it is. I think Pez is probably the best. But to me, they're like they're in the same flavor profile. They're the same, like, movie genre. Like, this is Jason, this is Freddy, and this is, like, Michael Myers. You know what I mean? It's like, they're the... I'm getting the same thing out of it. Nestle Crunch. I feel like it's been a while. But I do remember eating it. I'm thinking it was good. I think Crackle might be better. Is Crackle on here? Can I pretend this is Crackle? I think Crackle actually might be better. What the fuck is Crackle? Crackle! Get the red wrapper? I think Crackle is better. But I think this is still good. I don't think it's better than Kit Kat, but it's close. Mm, no, it's not. Actually, you know what? It, yeah, no, it is. Actually, it is. I think it is. Alright, like cookie dough bites. I. I don't, I don't think I've ever eaten these. 
fruit gushers. Is this like a candy? Are gushers candy or are they fruit snack? Right? Isn't it? Is that kind of a difference, isn't there? I don't like think gushers are candy. I like them a lot though. I don't like that you open the bag and you go take one out and like you get the like the like streamer wall. You know what I mean? With all like the hexagons that are like you get like the like hexagon streamer wall. Then you pull it out. Um it's all connected and shit. I'd like to eat one at a time. But they're good. I'd, I'd rather have a gummy bear, but I, I actually do like these. I think they're good. I know that's a gross take for a lot of people. They really don't like that. People think Gushers are gross. When was the last time you had them? Lemonheads are horrible, aren't they? But they're good. They're like, they're here. It's like, this is like the same thing in my brain. Any candy where you put it in your mouth and you go like... Like, the, it's like the same thing. They're the same movie. It's the same, like, genre. It fits in the same spot. They're, I think they're okay. They're chewy, aren't they? These are the ones where they're yellow, and then when you, like, suck all the juice off them, they turn into white, like, chewy little balls, right? I got the, I got it right. After you like suck on them for a little while, they turn to these little tiny white like squishy chewy things. Soft outside, hard inside. Um, I had it backwards. I haven't had these in a while, but I, I do remember thinking they were pretty good. Bob stoppers, I, I haven't really had them. Tootsie Pops are like Hershey bars. They're fine. I would rather have something else. Where are Tootsie Rolls? Did I put them up here? Where's it? Where yeah, there. I mean, they're like... These are better than Tootsie Rolls because they're Tootsie Pops. So there's like a... There's more complex flavors going on. But I still would rather have something else. Jolly Ranchers. These are these are up here. I'd say somewhere in A. Gummy Bears are a little... Well, it depends. What do you want out of your candy experience? Do you want to just eat something and have it disappear and like, that's it, that was delicious, move on to the next thing? Or do you want a little bit longer lasting experience? Do you want to eat something that's going to last you more than one second, 10 seconds? These are the same to me. This is just like extended delayed release tablets. These are like, let's go right now. Yeah, this is extended release tablets of the same thing. So I like them both. Just depends on how I feel. We got a uh, blow pop, which are way better than Tootsie Pops. I can tell you I have not had one in a long time. But I do remember them being phenomenal. It's been a while. Probably better than Gushers. Charleston Chew. <laughs> what a legend. Uh, where's, where's, speaking of Charleston Chew, where the hell is it? Because that's up here. Where, where's Charleston Chew? Nope. I already know what this is. It's like the gross coconut thing. Dum Dums? I'd rather have a Dum Dum than a uh, Blow Pop. They're just easier, quicker. Yeah, Charleston Chews are incredible in the freezer. They have to be from the freezer though, they have to be. If a Charleston Chew is in the freezer, it's here. Somewhere in, the, in this area. I don't know exactly where, but it's here. Life servers are not that high. This is going to need some recombobulating here. Uh, Snickers are tried and true. It's kind of exactly what you're looking for. Test of time. Been around for like a hundred years. They've never changed it. It's been, it's always just always good. Yeah, just always good. Especially the little ones. Oh my god, I was like fell down. <laughs> The, li the little Snickers, the little individual little squares, I think are better than the bars. Because they make sure that in the little squares, 
It's the exact ratio of everything you want. It's a perfect singular bite of candy. The bar of Snickers could, it's, it's kind of, you never know what's going to be in there. You don't know what the ratio is like. The little ones, oh yeah, you know exactly what you're getting in there. Absolutely. They're up here. I'm thinking about making a change here. We'll see. M&Ms, they're all right. They're fine, but this is just, if they're regular M&Ms, then like, whatever. Peanut butter M&Ms are up here. Regular M&Ms? They're, 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 they're reliable. They're reliable. Like, okay, the chocolate inside of an M&M is better than the chocolate on the Hers in the Hershey's. Like, this you just get like an upgraded experience with the candy on the outside. Once you get in there, the chocolate's better. It's a better chocolate. It tastes better. M&M's minis are S tier. Oh, you better believe it. You better believe it. I, I think this is probably around here. Again, these fit in the same category. Like, do I want like the Reese's flavor or do I want the M&M's flavor? One's not better than the other for me. Razzlers, get out of here. You don't belong up there. Bubble tape doesn't either. The Skittles are like, they fell off. Just like um, Starburst did. They're actually in the same place for me. It's just, mm. They kind of fell off for me. I'm not, I'm not a big fan anymore. They're almost like too sugary. I know that like I have literally pure sugar up here, right? But something about Skittles, they're almost like too sweet. It's like too sugary. I don't know why. Something about it. I guess you could say this is this is the exact same thing, but even these like taste different than this. It's like a different kind of sweetness. Uh, I'm gonna just I don't I think these are the same, so I'm gonna put them here. Lifesavers, I'm gonna. Where are lifesavers? If they're in A, it's a mistake. Where are they? Where are the didn't I put other lifesavers up here? Where'd they go? Bottom of A? Oh right, okay. Uh we're oh, wait, we're pretending that these are mint, right? These are like the spearmint ones. That's what we're pretending. Um are these are tropical ones. The tropical ones are actually pretty good. I would put them somewhere here. They're okay. I would they're good. Hershey's Kisses are better than Hershey's. Again, it's it's like, it's kind of weird because the chocolate in a Hershey's Kiss tastes better than a Hershey bar. I don't know why or how. I don't get it. And it's way better somehow. It is way better. Why? Why is that? I, I can't give you a reason why. You just said shape doesn't matter. No, I told you that these are the same thing, just different shapes. I also think they're gross. I don't think these are gross. I think these are, I think this chocolate's good. I think chocolate's good. I think these are gross. Yeah, they can be different shapes. As long as I think they taste good, that's fine. They belong right here, right in the middle. Probably over fun. Bazooka, what is bazooka? What is this doing up here? Yeah, it's called you chew up the gum for five seconds, read the comic book, and spit it out. Why was this up here? But that was... Those comic books. Those comics were fire. How cool was that? A tiny little comic with like three or four or five panels? That's fucking awesome. What a cool thing. That was really... The wrapper was a comic book. Um, excuse me. Yeah, I, I was wrong. Pop Rocks are fun for a second where you, uh, you're like, oh yeah, remember these? And you do it and you go, okay, I won't eat these for like another three or four years. They're alright. You, you can't put... Okay. I know some people are going to put this in S. But how do you put something in S that you know you're not going to eat more than like once every two or three decades? 
You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, sure, they're really cool. It's a crazy experience. Like, it's, wow, look at the, the pop rocks. And it's, oh my god, crunch, crunch. But if I'm only going to do this, like, once every fucking five years, why can I put it up here? Like, it's, why, why would I put it up there? It's, it's cool. But it's not, I, I have eaten these. Uh, I mean, I ate, like, five of these literally yesterday. So that's why they're up here. Um, it, this is a funny, like, experience to have, but I don't think it's, like, a great candy to eat all the time. These are the wax bottles. Again, same deal. You're going to remember that the wax bottles exist. You're going to go, oh, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, yeah, dude. Remember? remember? Do you remember that? And then you go, both going to go, okay. We're not doing that for another decade. We're not doing that again. We're not doing that ever again. Like, we're going to do it once and then forget it exists for, like, another five years till we remember to do it again. They belong in the same place. And they're somehow better than Starburst and Skittles. But that experience is cooler than... The, yeah. Yep. I think so. Almond Joy. Mm-mm. I really don't... I really don't like these. I don't like them. I think they're better. These are probably better than, yeah, than all this fucking dog shit. <laughs> you know, it's tough to like do these. Somebody said earlier, like you're gonna, you're ruining sponsorship opportunities. If like Twizzlers, if for any reason ever, and I'm not saying this is ever gonna happen, but if any of these companies were ever like, hey man, well, we should, you wanna like work together? <laughs> and all they have to do, wow, these are all dog shit. These are dog shit. You know what I mean? Like, I gotta be careful. These are not weighted to my palate moment. They're all one company, don't worry. <laughs> That's true. 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 That's true. Alright, Laffy Taffy is actually, holy shit, this is the pink Laffy Taffy? I'm trying to remember what it tastes like. It's like a creamy, weird, like, strawberry fake flavoring. And it's delicious, isn't it? It's, like, fantastic. I, like, know what this tastes like. And let me... Yeah? Hold on, I'm getting it. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's probably... Oh, that's up here. I think so. I Yeah. These are really good. I just haven't had one in a lot. Where's, uh... Like, just saltwater taffy. That belongs up here in S. Uh, these things are fine. They're, you eat the paper half the time. Whatever. No. Any candy where you go like this... No, it's like it's fine. It's but I don't think it's I don't I don't want it all the time. Uh, jelly beans. I mean, toasted marshmallow jelly beans are up here. But the fact that they kept popcorn in for this long. I mean, they well you go down here like the just the fact that these these people have put popcorn still in here. This many years later. What are you thinking? Like, what are you thinking? Popcorn is the best flavor. What are you thinking? Popcorn is the best flavor. What are what drugs have seeped into you? Popcorn is not the best flavor. Popcorn tastes like fucking eggs. The popcorn jelly bean tastes like eggs. No, I will. St I'm gonna die on this hill. Toasted marshmallow is way up here. And watermelon. So you know what? Besides like the egg flavored one. I would probably enjoy this more than fun dip. Or lemon heads. I think it's a solid beef. Toasted marshmallow one sucks ass. That's like the literally the only reason to get it. That's why you buy the jelly beans. 
What are you on about? What are you talking about? I can't believe somebody's saying that right now. That's crazy to me. Uh, Whoppers kind of taste like acid. Uh, the Whoppers are good, but they taste like they're fucking something's wrong with like the, something was wrong in the production. But they do have a they have a very interesting flavor. And if you're really into it, there's been times where I've looked at the Whoppers kind of at the movie theater counter or whatever and been like, you know what? Go. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's go for it. And I'm like, oh yeah, these are fine. But they do, they kind of have that weird, like, acidic fucking like, taste. Like, there's something... Like, there was way too much of some ingredient that you wanted to remove. But I I think that they're fine. I would, I think they're solid. Hmm. But are they... They're, mm, they're see. I see. In fact, like, these are, like, gimmick fucking things. They should be down here. They're, fi they're fine. They taste fine. But they're gimmicks. This is a gimmick. Who, well, who's going to be able to do this at the office? You know what I mean? Who's This is a gimmick. You're not, you can't do that at the office. Uh -uh. Like, these down here, one, two, three, four, five, you can't do these at the office. But like, the, the guy in the in next door, in, like, the office next door, you're going to do, like, pop rocks? And you look over, you peek over, like, the, the, the side, and he's like, you can't do that at the office. Why not? It's not for adults, I know, but I'm just saying you can't do that at the office. We already know where Skittles are. We're gonna put them both here. Milk duds. Oh, milk duds are bad. But why are these in the same space? Why are these occupying the same part of my brain? They're like chewy and kind of hard, right? Oh, I know Milk Duds. Milk Duds are the ones that are unbelievably delicious. The chocolate, the like candy chocolate coating on the outside is fucking so good. It's like chewy and oh, it's so yummy. And then you spit it out when it gets to like the weird like gum under the desk consistency. Right, okay. I mean, these are like A plus in flavor, but when they get to that point, they go all the way down here. I think I'd probably rather have a Whopper. The flavor is phenomenal, though. It really is. The flavor is phenomenal. Okay. What are these dots? These are the, the cousin of dots. What are these called? Like, dinkles or something? What are these called? What are these? Gumdrops. Oh, mm-mm. No, they're, they're like, we're dots. They're in the same place for me. Okay, hold on. Let me get to make issue. Is it right? This is Andy's Nerds. Three Musketeers. York Pep and Patty Snickers. Arts. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna move this. Yeah, I think. Wait, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's move this a little bit here. Remember, these are mint. These are mint. This is, I remember this being so good. These are the, this is fine. Milky Way, yeah, that's fine. Put this up a little higher. Way higher, actually. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. Oh, fuck that, yeah. I'd rather have a Heath Bar. Maybe not more than a gummy bear. Maybe not. Stupid. Fucking idiot. Idiot. Oh, yeah. No. I, I think that's fine. I still think he's an alien for putting Pocky in trash tier. Actually, Pocky would be up here for me now. I've had a few flavors that I actually really liked. There's like a mint chocolate Pocky that is up here. I don't really like any of the other ones. Here's my old list. Okay. Pocky was on there twice. Yeah. Alright, let's get the, my old list. I think I'm happy with this one. What do we got?
All right, what's going on here? Who puts Mr. Goodbar in S tier? Why is Mr. Goodbar in S tier? Mr. Goodbar? What the fuck am I talking about? Why is Mr. Goodbar on here twice? It's on here two times. I don't get it. You were pretending it was something else. Does anyone, does anyone remember what it was supposed to be? Why would you ever put Mr. Goodbar in S tier? It's good, but not S tier. Oh, this is a... This is an absolutely brainless take. Gummy bears are in D. Cadbury eggs are in D. M&Ms are in F. What am I talking about? Guys, what am I what am I on about? Where okay, is Swedish fish down at F? It better be. Sweet tarts? Alright, hold on, whoa, 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 Hold on, shrink this down a little. Yeah, alright, sweet tarts are fine. Trolley is in trashed here. Uh, and I would put it there again. I would put it down here again. Everyone talking about how I have like a palette of a 10 year old. And yet I'm getting all this flack for trolley gummy worms being down in like D. Why? Uh, excuse me? Gummy worms? No. Trolley is S. No, it's not. It's gummy worms. Gummy worms are like fucking F. They're like D. I don't like them. They're down here with like Swedish fucking fish. Wait, hold on. I'll be fair. I'll be fair. Relax. Relax. I'll be fair. I've never had a trolley before ever in my life. It's just gummy worms are for kids. So I just didn't never, I never bought them. Eat a trolley on stream. Gummy worms were like, Oh, you! <laughs> He's got a worm in his mouth! It's for children. I never bought him. Everything that I have, besides nerds, is an adult beverage of candies, okay? It's an adult beverage of candies. Reese's is like the whiskey. No. Reese's is, yeah, Reese's is like the whiskey. Andy's is like the like peppermint schnapps. Three Musketeers is like a really good fucking wine. York Peppermint Patty. These are these are these are like adult beverages. A Snickers bar. Oh, that's like uh, these are these are like aged to perfection. Everyone making fun of my my ten year old palate and saying, "Where's Trolley? Where's the gummy worms? <laughs> bubble tape. It's six feet of bubble gum." For adults, not kids! I remember the commercial. Six feet of bubble gum. For you, not kids! I saw it a million times. It was on TV all the time. You're already in mind? Okay, I've never had a trolley. I'll eat a trolley on stream. And I'll change my opinion if it's good. Uh, gummy worms are for men. What? <laughs> it's not a, for men? No, it's not? Why? How's a gummy worm for men? Oh. It's a man-sized gummy worm. Gummy worms are for men. Why are you putting gummy worms in the same category as as like a fucking like brisket sandwich? Executives eat trolley. Really? At the office? Really? At the off at the office? Trolley gummy worms coming out at the office? Really? No, it is coming out. Andy's mints. Andy's mints. York peppermint patties. Son, would you like a Snickers? Son, how about a three musketeers? That's coming out at the board meeting. Nobody at the board meeting is good unless it's like one of those like 90s comedy movies. 
where like the kind of weird funny guy got on the board of directors and like comes to the office in like a like a sweatshirt and like glasses and eats gummy worms. All right, this is not a 90s comedy movie. We're executives and we eat Andy's mints. CEOs eat trolley. Oh, no, they did not. You're a boring adult. Okay, uh, here we go. I will buy a bag of trolley and I'll eat them on stream. Is there a certain color of trolley that I need to eat first? Or is it one of those cases where like, no, dude, skip all the green ones and yeah, those are the gross ones. Which, what, which is the one I need to eat? Blue? What? Make this, you better make this accurate. Because you're only getting one chance. Sour trolley? Blue sour trolley. The blue and pink, blue and sour trolley. Blue and, blue and pink trolley. Sour. Blue and pink sour trolley. Okay. All right. Any, any of the blue ones, any of the red ones, pink, sour, okay? Sure. I'm going to eat a blue sour trolley on stream tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. Any other candies that I have to have to be a fucking adult? Which ones? I'll give you my real opinion. Tomorrow. Can you eat, can you eat a review of Papa John's pizza? I'm not going to eat a fucking trolley and then a Papa John's pizza tomorrow. Why would I do that? <laughs> oh, hey, dude, now that you're trying candy, eat a whole Papa John's pepperoni pizza and give us what your thoughts. <laughs> okay, how about this? No, that's I, I don't think I can get that by tomorrow. Should I, like, go up against my own bullshit and eat all the things that are in, like, D, like C and D? Should we do, like, a face your bullshit stream? Where, like, I eat all these things that I have in a bad category and, and tell you how I really feel? And you have to eat them in a suit. Toblerone is S plus. It's not. It can't even fit on this list. Toblerone is like stratosphere. It's the best candy in the world, but it's just not on here. It's not fair. It's not fair for Toblerone to be on here. All right, how about this? Let's, okay, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do a face the bullshit stream. Ugh, can I do it tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Okay. Can I? Can you give me a day to prepare? I, I want to make sure I, I can, like, get a bunch of these. I'll do a face the bullshit stream. Let me, give me a little, give me a day or two to prepare this. Thursday? I think I can get most of these by Thursday. I don't think I can get it by tomorrow. I'll wear a suit and it will, it'll be called face the bullshit stream. I'm talking like all the all like the like the F tier shit that I've told you about. We're talking bread. Like I'm gonna get wheat bread. Like I, you know what? What we should do? Let me. I'm gonna go through these and figure out all the all the things that I fucking said. They were gross. You're gonna buy every single candy at the store in a suit. Uh, did they make little versions of this shit? I don't want to like eat one and then like not want it. You need a popcorn jelly bean. Oh, fuck. You can get 95% of these at like Walmart or a gas station. Okay. All right. All right. We'll, we'll make this work. So I'm tomorrow. I'm going to scour the world for all these things that I said that I hate or think is gross or think like I, I'll have, I'm so high and mighty on. And I will give you my real, honest opinions on them. I will not fuck around. I'm gonna and I'm gonna do it in a suit. It's gonna be like a fucking telephone on the desk. I'm gonna have like an executive table. All I ask is that you don't fuck around. <laughs> 
All right, I'll pull up all. Uh, I get. I'll figure it out. But yeah, uh, we'll we'll open up. If you have any recommendations, by the way, we have the recommended channel in Discord. Maybe I can work with maybe the mods. We'll we'll get like a good list of like a bunch of stuff. This is gonna be the worst stream of the year. <laughs> with candlelight. What if he pukes? What if I puke on camera? Can I puke? Yeah, it's gonna be called Face the Bullshit. In a top hat. With candles. Alright, let me just make sure I can even get all this gross stuff. Okay. I'll see you. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Thursday, we're going to start early on Thursday. Not 4 o'clock. We're going to start Thursday probably around like 2. You said tomorrow? I got to go. Okay, I don't think I can find... Like some of these on the things on the chips list. Guys, I'm going to have to go to like fucking 5 Walmarts. I, that's not going to happen tomorrow. All the... Okay, if he wants to get the Fs from his chip list. I'll do them all. All my tier lists. Maybe besides the fast food ones. Because that, I don't want to like... Alright, here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to like buy a bunch of food and like waste a bunch of food. Right? That'll be for like a different day, maybe. We're talking like shelf stable stuff. Because even if I don't like it, I can like roll it up and like eat it over the course of like a year. So, I, I'm i not going to buy like fucking 30 pieces of fast food and take 10 bites of everything and then throw it all away. I'm not going to do that. So... We'll see. I'll do it on Thursday. Do it on Friday? I can't do it on Friday. Well, I need to get, like, all these candies. I need to get all those chips. I need to get all the sodas. And hey! Where's the... Where's the Pepsi Nitro? Where's Pepsi Nitro? Where's Pepsi Nitro? Where the fuck is it? I keep seeing commercials for it. Where is it? Where is it? They keep showing it to me. Where is it? It's bad? I want to try it. I keep seeing it on like television and shit. And I'm like, I want it. I want to try it. It's so good. It actually looked good. All right. Uh, those of you that want to follow the sort of uh, what's going to happen here. All the... F tier candies and like maybe some of the D tier, uh, D tier candies, all the F tier sodas, all the F tier chips. I'm gonna try to get as many of them as I can. Here we go, and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a rating out of ten. And that's it. I'll see you. I'll see you Thursday. And don't forget breads. Don't worry. That's why it's gonna take more than okay. That's why it's gonna take more than like a day. I have to go to like a bunch. I have to like. I don't think they have all this stuff in one place. Who the fuck has candy corn right now? Or candy cigarettes? I don't think. Are these even legal anymore? Are these. These are illegal. I, aren't they, I don't think I can buy these. Where can I get these? Where am I supposed to get that? Cookie dough bites? Guys, they don't even sell this. You have to go to Spencer's Gifts. <laughs> Spencer's... <laughs> just go to a movie theater? Oh my god. I'm gonna go to a movie theater and just be like, yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take the Almond Joy, I'll take the Twizzlers, I'll take the Mike and Ikes, I'll take the Cookie Dough Bites, I'll take the Candy Cigarettes, uh, the Gobstoppers, the Dots, and the Peeps. Uh, give me a couple of those too. I'll enjoy the movie. No, there is no movie. Bye. Oh, hey, man. Enjoy Spider-Man. That movie sucked. See you later. <laughs> it did. I'm kidding. That didn't suck. It was fine. Oh, enjoy Morbius. Oh, dude. It's the fifth time I've seen it. <laughs> All right. I'll see you later. I'm going to work on I'm going to get to work on this now.
I'll see you guys on Thursday, 2 o'clock Pacific. Yeah, and so the mods over here are talking. They're saying, get some, get what you can reasonably get. Serial list too. Yep. I'm going to have so much bullshit. I'm going to have a pantry full of shit. I'm never going to have to buy a cereal ever. But what if I don't like it? I'm going to have to like eat like gross cereal. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm going to eat all this stuff because it's going to be... I don't want to just waste a bunch of food. So if I buy, for instance, um, what is down here at the very bottom? Like multi-grain Cheerios. Oh, I don't want to eat those, but I... I don't want to eat multi-grain Cheerios. Could you donate it? Okay, if I don't get through everything, then yeah. But I mean, I'm going to be opening most of this stuff. I'm going to have to eat it. So if I if I can track down the Sour Patch Kids cereal, I'm going to have to open the bag and eat it. I can't, like, I'm not going to... I'm going to have to eventually, over the course of like a year, eat that Sour Patch Kids cereal. They're a single serving box. Yeah, I'll make sure to get the small ones. All right, so I'll see you on Thursday for Face the Bullshit. Two PM. Might start earlier. Keep an eye on the sus over the next day or so. Were you looking at like a somewhere between twelve and two PM start? Not sure yet. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Thanks for sticking around. Have a wonderful rest of your night. We'll see you soon. I'm actually excited. <laughs> Can I put bullshit in the title of a stream or is that going to like Twitch flag me? I don't think I can. I can just, I can just bleep it out. Yeah, it'll be like face the bull S with like dit 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 dit. <laughs> All right, good night, guys. See you later.